po tayo ngayon sa Philol Eco Oil Center kung saan magaganap ang opening ceremony ng NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. At kikilalanin po natin ang mga players ng ating 10 member schools. I am Lizella Nierbeth for NCAA Season 99. It's official! Last weekend ay opisyal na ngang nagbukas ang Men and Women's Volleyball Tournament ng NCAA Season 99. Masaya tayo no, na magsisimula na ang NCAA Volleyball Men's and Women's. No? Especially this is one season away from the centennial celebration. So we're hoping no, na we encourage the, all the fans especially yung mga supporters sa mga atleta natin na suportahan natin ang NCAA. This will be a very exciting season as we are seeing no uh, yung pag-prepare, yung yung uh, excitement ng lahat ng mga atleta lalo na ang sampung schools ng NCAA. And we're hoping with your uh, support that we'll be able to achieve no uh, milestones for the NCAA this season. We are very happy. Especially na ang NCAA dito na ginawa sa malaking venue and also with the presence of our uh, boys and girls participation. Na kailangan eh, priorit i-prioritize din nila yung kanilang academics. Kasi sabi nga nila, ang paglalaro is only secondary. Number one is academics. I'm hopeful na matatapos yung liga na ito without any kind of injuries na mangyayari sa lahat ng athletes. Super exciting talaga dahil nagsama-sama na naman in one place ang ating student athletes from our 10 member school. Good day sports fans, this is Game On, the very first sports podcast of GMA. Brought to you by GMA Regional TV and Synergy and GMA Digilab. My name is Martin Avier. Half minute left. Shot clock is down to four, Manalini. Kaboom! Let's talk about anything and everything about sports. I am Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio. Ang pinaka-key to be a very good shooter, to be able to score, is repetition. Makasama din natin ang inyong mga idolo o paboritong atleta mula rito sa bagong-bagong opisina ng GMA Integrated News. Ako naman po si Antoine Rojas. Unang laban sa Seniors Division at uh, grabe, nag-enjoy tayo doon dahil napakainit ng laban ni Borromeo at Canyon. Game on! There you go nga po sir. You guys can also find us on GMA News and GMA Sports Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and on Google. All right, very first episode is here. Finally, yep. after a long percolating time. Yeah, haba. almost a year. Almost oh. a year of waiting. Finally, okay. talagang binuking natin. Matagal tayo naghintay dito, but we're very happy. Uh, that Game On is finally here on the pod. If you guys don't know, uh, ito po yung extension no in-between show natin. During the NCAA season, volleyball, basketball, we do a mini segment there called Game On. Kinakausap namin yung ibang athletes and we talk about different sports topics. But obviously, we don't have limited time. Or on the show, on the TV show, we have limited time. What was the most shocking transfer to you? Yung nakita mo last season na uh... Pwede ko itong kakampi. Pagkakampi ko ito, champion kami. Who would win a one-on-one -on -one game between you and Jake? Oh! Bakit ba lumilipat ang mga players? Maraming factor yan. Yan yung susubukan natin pag-usapan at himayin kasama ng ating special guest for today. He is the reigning rookie MVP of NCAA Basketball, Mr. Clint Escamis, on this episode of Game on the Podcast. How's the regulations? Big How's it going, sports fans? I'm Anton Rojas. Welcome to Game On, the podcast, the first sports podcast of GMA, brought to you by GMA Regional TV and Synergy and GMA Digilab. We are also seen and heard on GMA News and GMA Sports 
PH on Facebook and YouTube. Of course, listen to us at Apple, Spotify, and Google Podcast. I am Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. And my name is Martin Avier. Technically, guys, this is our first episode of the podcast. Kasi yung unang-una natin, that was more of an introduction namin tantlo para, you know, makilala nyo pa kami. Bakit namin papag-usapan ng sports? Bakit kayo maniniwala sa amin? So, for today, this is our first episode with a guest. I mentioned earlier, he is the reigning rookie MVP of the NCAA. Last year's comeback king. Mm-hmm. Nandito po, Mr. Clint Escamis. <laughs> Escamis, welcome back to the NCAA. Here comes Escamis. Escamis using his speed. Escamis, oh, his defender falling down. Escamis, stop. We welcome you to our Sunday coverage. This is the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Our first of two games this afternoon. Yes, that's right. We have a Sunday doubleheader for you guys. We start off the action with the San Sebastian Lady Stags going up against the Arellano Lady Chiefs. April 21st on a Sunday here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Afterwards, we'll go to this game between two undefeated teams in the league. The Letran Lady Knights going up against the back-to-back defending champions, the Benilde Lady Blazers. But we'll begin the action with San Sebastian versus Arellano and it's time for us to meet the starters here and coach Roger Gurea continues to uh, shuffle his starters back in the starting unit is uh, KJ Jonisho and taking a backseat today itong si Tina Marasigan who is one of his main gunners but he is going to be uh, utilizing more young players on the other side. Para naman dito sa Arellano Lady Chiefs. A lot of emerging players on the side of Coach Obit Javier with Maui Magaling as the latest to produce for them in double figures against San Beda with 10 points. Martin Javier, by the way, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Martin Javier working alongside. I gotta do a proper introduction as Arellano scores the first point. Pablo Guzman scores that one. She is one of the best liberos in Philippine volleyball history. Star in college, star in the professional ranks, also in high school. Let's mention that. She is also known as the ninja, Miss Melissa Going. Mel, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Grabe. What an introduction. Thank you so much. And hello to our NTAA volleyball fans. And napaka exciting tong araw na ito. Lalo na mamaya. Huh? Okay. Po yan. Battle of the undefeated teams, but this game should be exciting as well. Because ang ahiba nitong uh, dalawang teams natin. Okay, Arellano is starting to find their winning ways, man. Etong San Sebastian, you know, they're zero and four right now, but you see them fighting in every game. And yung volleyball naman is bilog ang bola. So hindi mo alam eh, minsan late mag-peak yung team. Yeah. So tingnan natin kung um, ito pa yung start ng journey ng ating Lady Stags. That's right. But this is not an encouraging start para sa kapunan ni Coach Roger Gurayeb. An error right here early on in the match. Ang uh, kukumpleto pala sa ating broadcast team will hear her report later on after the technical timeout. Coach Roger is animated. I wonder what he is signaling there. But yeah, doesn't like the call. Paralejas with a good serve. Here's the back set. That is defended. De Guzman popped up by Santos. They go to Deposoy. Again, defense was right there for Arellano. De Guzman, better coverage from Digmakulangan. De Posoy countered. Back set this time. There is a push. Not a point though as Arellano saves it. Vaughn. Chance ball coming right up. Nope, De Posoy. Ginawa ng paraan yun. Moming Padillon who is back in the starters for Arellano hits. Bam! Long rally ended with an exclamation by Juna Gonzalez. What a rally and defense for both teams and you know, sabi ni Gonzalez, it's our point. Uh-huh. Mel, it must be entertaining for you to see two teams who are working hard like that when it comes to floor defense. Yes, nakakatuwa. And nakaka-inspire din. Yeah. 
Oh! A service ace. Nakabanggit ko lang nung floor defense. Reception na naging problema doon ng Arellano University. That is one of the new faces mula dito sa Lady Stacks. Si Deposoy scoring the ace. This And it's is, very uh, challenging for Deposoy din. Kasi yeah. ngayon lang siya nababad. Pero you can see yung confidence niya from the service line. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, pag jump spike talaga, yeah. ano eh, high risk, high reward. So usually, yun yung mga um, high na nag-errors kapag jump spike. That's na also serve. called the commentator's jinx. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay I'm so sorry. <laughs> But again, San Sebastian slowly recovering here in the opening set. Santos, almost a conversion. Dimakulangan goes to the middle. And again, a very confident KJ Junisho scores on that hit. Iba talaga yung connection ng Dimakulangan sa mga spikers niya. Even, even from their previous games na utilize niya per spiker. Even sa mga backline na spikers niya. KJ, of course, back in her original position as a middle blocker. De Guzman has yet to be stopped here by the Lady Stags. Ang nipis ng bola talaga ni De Guzman and ang hirap na i-block. Si De Guzman, not the you know, most powerful spiker, pero maganda yung discarte niya. And iniiwas siya talaga sa blockers. So, patindaan. Good to see her back after sustaining a left leg injury. A couple of games ago, Paralejas, Teguzman from the middle. Imakulangan, back row hit for Deposoy. Not gonna work. Pero buhay pa. Ooh! It's gonna be sent across. Here come the Lady Stags. Oh! Great defense. Life. Yeah. Both teams with great effort defensively. Santos is denied. Arellano on the attack. Teguzman! Not over for Pau. Ang haba ng rally na yun. Medyo pababa na yung ending natin. Um, napagod. <laughs> This is Pau de Guzman. Good coverage as well at the net. Mula dito sa Lady Stags. Forcing de Guzman to she, think about her attempt. Yeah, she tried putting it sa cross court. Mm -hmm. Pero medyo mababa yung set eh. So that was, the ball went to the net. So Pau de Guzman, third year player. Two points here in set number one. Unable to convert. Ito yung running hit. Oh, that is a point for Robbie Matawanan. So early on, Mel, it is Arellano starting to variate when it comes to their offense. The blocker wasn't there and down the line hit. Kaya medyo mahirap din. Depends on yung ganitong, ganong bola. Yeah, pero kung middle blocker ka, Maganda yun, nabibigyan ka ng confidence. Mm -hmm. Maaga pa lang ng setter mo. That's a check ball. Kat Santos scores her first point in the match. So Santos led the way for San Sebastian as per usual against the Lady Blazers, scoring 17 points and was responsible for the only set dropped so far in the season for Benil because San Sebastian won the second set 25-23 against the Lady Blazers. Ah, oh, push by Amakatan. Amakatan there. Ibabaw siya sa bola, kaya um, lumusot sa blocker. So even Von Dimakulangan is starting to find her middle blockers here. Kanina si KJ, ngayon si Tan. And no one was there eh. Yeah. Gumit na lahat ng defense ng Lady Chiefs. Ipa adjusted ang Arellano. Too strong was that jump serve ni Atunikat Santos. No, Kat Santos, she reminds me of Kutika. Ooh, Kaupin. Yeah. Ooh. Yung, oh, yeah, yung powerful ano niya, yeah. approach. approach. Ang masasabi ko lang, si Kutika, hindi iba yung, level, iba yung leaping ability ni Kaupin eh. At saka the way she folds in midair. Yes. And yung hang time din. Hang time niya. That's right. Very powerful. Adelion. Teposoy, oh, cross court is good. And San Sebastian showing a solid play here, equalizes in the opening set. And it's nice that he began to exposure than the coach Roger. Yeah. And grabbed in your confidence, Tumbatan. So, mm -hmm. no? 
laki ng potential para kay Coach Roger. In her first few games, off the bench siya, medyo kabado yes. pa. Di ba? And iba kasi, pag nag-start ka eh. Yeah. When you, when you were a starter, ang bilis mong maka-warm up, then coming off from the bench. Yeah, that's right. Confidence-wise, malayo rin. Woo! That's a swing from the setter. And Donna Paralas, and we arrive at our first technical timeout. It is Arellano ahead by one on the other side of the break. We'll have the first report from Ms. Aliana Faustino. Welcome back to the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament where the Arellano Lady Chiefs and the San Sebastian Lady Stags are giving it all they've got to emerge victorious. But to do just that in this game, both our teams eagerly studied each other to weigh in on strengths and weaknesses. Nakita at the Arellano Lady Chiefs head coach Ovet Javier ng angking galing ang Lady Stags, particularly sa kanilang mga open hitters. Kaya ang pang-counter down nila dito ay ang maganda nilang passing at blockings na lumabas sa kanilang convincing na panalo against San Beda. On the other side of the court, Coach Roger Gorayeb believes that their disadvantage against the Chiefs is their psychological toughness. Kasi kung sa physicalan lang naman, ay nakakasabay naman sila. Pero kapag nasusugatan na daw ang Lady Stags, ay hindi na sila lumalaban. Kung baga sa fighting spirit, spirit lang ang meron sila. Wala ang fighting. Kaya ayan mismo ang gusto ni Coach Roger na malagpasan nila para masecure ang kanilang unang panalo. Both our teams look to be quite familiar with each other's style of play. So let's sit back and witness at how it unfolds in this game. Martin and Melissa. Thank you so much, Aliana. That's a great report on both coaches and their thoughts. Ito sa magkami ng panig natin, Aliana converts there. Yung isang sentence mo doon, I heard that in Coach Roger's voice. Yung, <laughs> ano yun? Quotable uh, quotes. Uh, quotable quotes. Spirit lang ang meron, walang fighting. De, pero totoo yun, yung nakikita niya sa team niya. Kasi pumapalag talaga itong San Sebastian. They even took one set away from Peniel. Yun nga lang, yung composure, yung tulohan na, panapos, kulang sila. And they, have, they also have a height advantage. So kulang na talaga yung defensa, yung yeah. consistency, and yung panapos. Kapila naman, ito sa Arellano, Lady Chiefs. Of course, Aliana mentioned the passing and the blocking. This, ito yung mga areas na nag improve na ang Arellano and they're starting to figure things out as we move along with the season. And this team, makikita mo yung consistency, buo sila, they have each other's backs, and ang ganda ng nilalaro nila from yung mga games na nila. That's right. Maangat ang laro nitong Arellano Lady Chiefs. Again, they want to get back to the promised land, the final four after missing it. Last season, I think that was the first time they missed the Final Four after 12 years of making, 12 straight years of making it, including four championships. So, yun yung uh, tinatrabaho dito ng Arellano, pero ito si ZJ Deposoy, yan mula sa Dumaguete City, a legitimate freshman mula kay Coach Roger. Oh, that's a tough serve. It is nice to see yung mga rookies na nagsistep up. Yeah. Nalita mo yung future, sila yung mga future ng volleyball. That's right. Kami, kabagit mo lang, rookie Maui Magaling is able to score. This is a lady who scored 10 points previously for Arellano versus the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Coach Roger. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay, they're, they're arguing na yung attempt na yun. Kasi kitang-kita ng mga players, lumabas daw. But it was uh, called inside. Kat Santos. This, Good save there. Yeah, this is going to be saved. Timakulangan goes to the middle. And that's KJ. Try to uh, get it off the block. Pero bumalik ang bola. Pumasok para sa Arellano University. Okay, look at Coach Roger here. Papakabot na lang dito. Dalawa bumablock sa quick. 
hindi yung palo ka ng palo eh. Kasi makikita mo naman sa taas kung gilan yung kamay na nasa harapan mo eh. Siyempre, ilalayo mo doon sa kamay ng blocker. Hindi yung basta palo mo. Ha? Tapos mo na kaunti yung doon sa open hand. Okay, kung doon. Ano na naman ba okay, lang? SSE! Sag! All right, let's check out the previous game of San Sebastian again. It was against the defending champs, the Benil Lady Blazers, but they denied them a sweep in this match, Mel. And it was the first time na natalo ang Benil for a very long time ng isang set. Kaya, pero it's because then na maraming errors yung opponents nila. Yun nga naalala ko yung sinabi ni Coach Roger sa, kanil, sa players niya na huwag kayong umasa sa errors ng kalaban. Dapat kayo mismo ang gumawa ng puntos. And they're, they're still hoping to win their first game. Yeah, that's right. And kasi naniniwala siya that they have the enough personnel and enough firepower para gawin yan. And knowing na meron siyang four seniors yeah. sa team, kaya malaking bagay yun na puro seniors. That's right. Great amount of experience on the court for them. 10 to 13 here. Oh, good dig. Santos. Ooh! Looks like the Lady Chiefs had da sila sa mga spikes ni Santos. Kanina pa nila nabablock yung palo ni Santos. Yan yung pinanggit kanina ni Aliana sa kanyang report. Pinaghandaan nila yung mga wing spikers niya itong San Sebastian. Of course, they have Santos for this match at least. Deposoy off the bench for the Lady Stags. Meron pang Tina Marasigan. Dionisio. Yeah. Net touch. touch called Net against Dimakulangan. The receive was too close. Nag-signal si Dimakulangan. Medyo malapit yung... Yun yung challenge din, no, as a setter. Nakapagdikit talaga yung ano, kung paano nila gawa ng paraan. Isa-set ba nila o ibabalik nila. Yeah. Sobrang dapat quick thinking din yung mga setters. Uh -oh. And they must have the leaping ability to be able to reach yes. the ball and control it. Oh, Santos. And then si Pau de Guzman. Isa pa. Joust is won by Arellano. But it's on their side this time. Oh, KJ denies it. Ah, oh, the swing and the score. Nope, it goes out, apparently. Para dito may, uh, this is Magani. What a rally there, ganda ng blockings ng ni De Guzman. Even sa mga, dati, sa mga previous games yan, galing niya magbasa talaga ng spike. Unfortunately, an error is an easy point to the opponent. Iwasan lang talaga mag-error. And yun yung um, challenge din ng team ng Lady Chiefs na bawasan yung errors nila. Especially if you wanna be a contender. Dahil pag nakalaba mo yung Benil, bihira mag-error. Ooh! Yes. Santos uh, sends us to our second technical timeout. Ang lima ang abante dito ng Lady Chiefs. Mga kapuso, let's take a quick look back at the early goings of our brand new NCAA Volleyball Tournament here in the first edition of our Week in Review. On opening day last Sunday, the Benil Lady Blazers began their quest for a three-piece on a high note as they dominated EAC 25-15, 25-14, 25-23. Graduating middle blocker Mitch Gamet led the way for the Taft Avenue-based squad with 10 markers. In the match that... Lady Knights, Cuernova. Yeah. Undefeated in the competition so far. They face a fellow undefeated team. That is the Benilde Lady Blazers. Should be a fantastic matchup midway through the elimination round here in Season 99. All right. Flu game. Well, may flu game. She got Santos a la Michael Jordan. 17 points with 16 spikes despite feeling under the weather in that match. But you know what? Yun yung surprising sa mga players na kahit under the weather nila, minsan yung pa yung good game nila. Oh, yeah. And siya talaga maasan mo siya. Mapa frontline, mapa backline. She's the player na kailangan bantayan ng mga opponents nila. In this match though, Mel, she is being checked. Kaya umiiba na ng discard kaya itong si Adia. Right now is the playmaker on the court for Coach Roger. Nagpalit na siya dito. Going with her secondary setter. Kat Santos has been checked so far. 
And I ask you off cam as we take a look at this free ball from Arellano. Sige, tingnan muna natin yung puntos. Oh, that's a point. It's an error, net touch on Arellano University. So, San Sebastian will get two points. You were a former spiker in your, I don't want to say younger days, but yeah, way younger days, early teens. Yeah. Okay. So, kung nacheck ka, of course, your confidence will go down kung ikaw ang pantay sarado nito mga blockers dito. If you're the setter and if you're the teammates of these spikers, katulad ni Kat Santos dito, ano yung kailangan mong gawin para mapagana ulit siya? Ako bumabawi talaga ako sa depensa. Depensa? Oo, oh, yun talaga yung strength ko sa team. Mm -hmm. So yung switch ko, nasa gitna talaga ako. Although I was an opposite fighter. Oh. So sa gitna ako. Diba usually outside yung sa gitna sa backline. Yeah. So nilagay ako sa gitna. And my coach was Jerry. Oh, Coach Jerry. Okay. Yes. Ah. Okay. Kaya, kaya ka pala ginawang libero din ni Coach Ramil. Kasi depensa yung yes. pambawi mo. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yun na yung naging main thing mo. Whatever sense. Alright. Donna Paralejas able to score. By the way, kanina lumapit na itong San Sebastian. It was the Pozoy with the point. But how about this one-two play? Very unpredictable. She's really an, an offensive setter. Yeah. And she's yung parang malilito yung mga blockers. Kung pumunta ba sila sa mga block, sa mga spikers or sa kanya. Uh, and her attacks kasi are yeah, scoring setter. Her attacks din talaga are sharp and such a threat to score a point, ano? Perks of being a lefty. Yeah, that's true. Magaling scored an ace earlier. The Posoy, no good. One more time for her. Oh, she gets rejected. Faye Mangubat denies that attempt. And after the fight back of San Sebastian, Kamano, Sarado Pinto and Iris Arellano restoring the five-point advantage. Tayo, hindi natin, hindi ko pinata-target yung libero. Tayo naman tinatarget ka. Ha? Huwag mo kasing i-ganin yung bola. Eh, isipin mo lang ng ganyan. Ba't kasi pinabat ko mo ng... Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, it was Coach Roger just addressing the first ball problems. Itong San Sebastian. And breakthrough performance for Maui Magaling. Again, initially came off the bench for uh, Arellano, but when Coach Obet started to mix things up, kasi ang inahanap ni Coach Obet, kahit sino player, veterano, bata, basta buo loob. Nakikita niya buo yung loob sa court, pinababad niya. You know, Coach Obet, sobrang nag-proof niya na ang lalim ng bench nila. So, um, nagkaroon ng exposure si Maui Magaling in favor of Laika Tudlasa na meron pang back injury. Ang, ang galing din kasi nagsistep up din yung mga um, second stringers ni Coach Obet for their team. Kaya hindi ramdam na wala dito si Laika Tudlasan mm -hmm. who is of course one of their best scorers in that lineup. But she was able to play mm -hmm. during their game against Arellano. Mm -hmm. And ang galing. It's just that hindi pa siya 100%. Although, the, meron, na daw si, meron na daw clearance mm -hmm. from the doctor. Pero dinadahan-dahan pa ni Coach Obet. Ayaw niya biglaan. Uh, lalo na kapag may gumagawa naman uh, in her place. Ito. 21 to 14. Arellano pulling away here. San Sebastian, kanina nakalapit na. It was 16-14, and then Arellano unleashing a furious run, and it continues. A serves ace, mula dito kay Maui Magaling. She has been so far fantastic from the service line. Iba na yung confidence ka ni Maui Magaling after getting exposed from the last game, kasi usually um, she always comes from the bench. Yeah, that's right. Muntik pa magayos yun. Underhand set up for Pau de Guzman. Dug up. Marasigan. Padillon. Oh, that one hit the antenna. That ends the 6 to nothing run of the Lady Chiefs. That was a bit offset and pinilit niya pa i down the line. Pero it was ano, masadong down. Tumama sa antenna. Sumobra yung angulo dun. Ito ni Moming Padillon. 
Good serve. Back set. Running hit for Faye Mamubat. Just a quick execution for the Arellano Lady Chiefs to counter this point or that point earlier by the Lady Stags. Parelyas no na medyo nahuhuli yung blockers ah. dun sa running. Ilang beses na sila pumunta sa running attack na yun. Oh, Juna Gonzalez is able to connect off the block. Again, they need more of that. One of the leading scorers of the Lady Stags, Tina Parasigan, kanina-kanina pumasok na. Pero hindi pa gumagana para sa Lady Stags. Again, starting off the bench, or coming off the bench rather, itong si Marasigan today. I think this is the first time she's coming off the bench this season. Here she is. Oh. Yeah, malamig pa. And that is set point for the Lady Chiefs. Good luck there by Dodi Padilla. Nandun si Dodi, grabe yung puso nito. The last, their game during, uh, against Amapua, first point pa lang, nagka-injury siya. So, nagulat kaming lahat. But surprisingly, pumasok siya nung second set. Yeah. And ang dami, pumuntos pa rin siya, nag-block pa rin siya. Grabe. That's a, tr that's a true leader. That's right. And what's more amazing, as we take a look at this attack from Gonzalez, able to save one set point, he initially diagnosed that as an ankle injury. It turns out, days after, they found out na lift, knee injury pala yun. So, it was worse yeah. than what they thought. Tapos inilaban yun, ibatindaan mm -hmm. dun sa game na yun. Oh, speaking of Dodi, sumabit sa net. Nanggigil. Uh, so, we got a timeout here, Coach Obet Maninigurado. Ay, ne. It's a point, apparently. Okay, 25-17. Arellano takes the one set to none lead. What was the most shocking transfer to you? Yung nakita mo last season na pwede ko itong kakampi. Pag kakampi ko ito, champion kami. Who would win a one-on-one -on -one game between you and Jake? Oh! Bakit ba lumilipat ang mga players? Maraming factor yan. Yan yung susubukan natin pag-usapan at himayin. Kasama ng ating special guest for today. He is the reigning rookie MVP of NCAA Basketball, Mr. Clint Escamis, on this episode of Game on the Podcast. How's the... How's it going, sports fans? I'm Anton Rojas. Welcome to Game On, the podcast, the first sports podcast of GMA, brought to you by GMA Regional TV and Synergy and GMA Digilab. We are also seen and heard on GMA News and GMA Sports. We're watching the NCAA Season 99 live right now via NCAA Philippines and GMA Sports PH and on GTV. Martin, if you're at your service for today's matchup between Arellano and San Sebastian, working alongside the Ninja. I introduced her as one of the best liberos in Philippine volleyball history. Miss Melissa Gohing. Mel. Hello, hello to all the NCAA volleyball fans. Sobrang exciting today and lalo na mamaya. So Bet you guys better stay tuned. That's right. Very exciting games this afternoon. It is a Sunday doubleheader. San Sebastian Arellano. Afterwards, Letran Benilde. Ito yung muna yung uh, set number one natin. We started close. It was a seesaw battle. Arellano had, you know, one point lead, two point lead at uh, certain points in the set. But ultimately, towards the end, they created that big run to pull away from the ladies' stats. Just like what Coach Roger said, yung problema talaga ng team is more of maturity, consistency, and panapos, nakita mo naman sa start na, you know, they can do it. It's just that hindi nila matapos or hindi nila makontinue yung ginagawa nilang maganda. And the uh, Lady Chiefs were just on point with a lot of things. And these are the numbers of that set now. You know, based on attacks, okay silang lahat, both. It's just that Arellano, ang galing ng blocking nila, yung coverage nila, yung defense nila, yung kapit nila. Kaya din, kapag makapit yung both teams, yung una yung bibitaw, yun yung usually na, you know, natatalo. So, um, ang daming errors then from the side of the ladies. That's yung mga unforced errors, ang daming ganun, tingkinan. So, they need to be more consistent for the second set. Yeah, grabe yung struggle 
ng mga outside hitter nitong uh, San Sebastian, mapa ZJ Deposoy, yeah. Kat Santos, laging sinasarado nitong blockers ng Arellano Lady Chiefs. Ganda talaga ng, ng blocking ng Arellano Lady Chiefs. Ang sinasabi nga nila, sarado ang bangko. Yeah, sarado ang bangko. Ngayon linggo. Okay, bukas po kung magbubukas. Sinarado na ng permanente nitong <laughs> Arellano Lady Chiefs. But that is an encouraging start for them. And again, they continue to roll here in Season 99. Again, they're coming off a big win against San Beda. Previously, they won that. Again, in three sets, 25-19, 25-19, All right. Second set begins. Dito po sa loob ng Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan. And it is a gimme for Tony Batindan. Yung Dodi Batindan is really yung nagsa-start ng puntos para sa kanilang team. Lagi siya nagsa-start sa front line. And siya talaga yung umaangat na bubuhat ng team, ni team nila. That's right. With the departure and the exit of last season's ace na itong ace middle blocker, eh, na si Trina Abay. Siya na talaga yung tuluyang pumalit. Moming pa din yun. Uh, showing her not defense that time. Padillon, this is another player, main gunner ni Coach Obet in Season 98, pero she's had a slow start in Season 99, but the past two games, medyo nakukuha na niya yung groove niya. Pag na-expose talaga yung player, pag nakuha niya na yung rhythm niya, doon ko dare-direcho na yan. That's right. 12 points previously for Moming Padillon. Oh! All sorts of problems here from San Sebastian. This time, it's an error of an attack from Gonzalez. We are seeing some unforced errors from the side of the Lady Stags and medyo iba na yung energy nila from the start of the second set. So let's see how they will bounce back for this set. Yeah, you mentioned energy. You also see it in their body language so far. Oh, Demus man! Cross court kill. And no one was there. You know, you'll be amazed with the Guzman story. In interview ko siya nung isang game nila. She's been um, out of the season kasi nagkasakit siya. So itong season yung chance niya para bumawi para sa si team. To add to that story, she was discovered, quote-unquote, nung finals a couple of seasons ago. Uh, I think season 97 kung saan siya yung nagpalaban sa Arellano against Benil that time. Season 98, she was expected to break out, pero that didn't yes. happen. So, dito pumabawi na siya. And kitang-kita mo naman sa laro niya. Yeah. Kaya nga ang tawag sa'yo, quicker eh. Mabilis, quick eh. Kung hindi ka mabilis, dapat slower ang itinawag sa'yo. Bilisan mo. Eh, nag-aabang ka lang lagi. Kung tatalon o oh, hindi, eh, ang dami mong trabaho dyan. Pagdating sa likod mo, Isipan nyo maayos para maka-atake tayong maganda-ganda. Let's see, Scott! Scott! You know what? Coach Roger might have gifted us a new term in the broadcast. But they quit or slower. Okay. You know, adding to what Coach Roger said, the quicker should be, you know, they should be ahead of the blockers. Ang ganda ng blocking ngayon ng Lady Chiefs eh. Kaya kailangan unahan talaga nila. Again, wala pa silang solution dyan. They're still trying to figure out this Arellano wall. Oh, but in Dan, that time sent back by Junisio. Moming pa din yun. Dug up by Santos. Sent across. Free ball. Paralejas choosing pa din Dan for the quick tip. And it's uh, unorthodox yung quick niya. Gabi, sobrang powerful, but that quick, medyo tricky yan eh. Pag matagal mong mata lifting na yun eh. Pag, na. Oh, yeah. Pero sa kanya, ang bilis kasi ng kamay niya, kaya nagagawa niya eh. Six to nothing run, ended with that swing by KJ Junisio. KJ Junisio, listen to what Coach Roger said, na dapat bilisan niyo quicker. Yeah. Hindi kayo dapat slower. <laughs> yun. So yun na yun, yun na yung quicker. KJ Junisio. So, ZJ Deposoy, rookie again, starting today. Good serve. 
Tindan. That one bounced off the net. Santos sent back. Buhay pa. Lady Stags. This time are on the attack. Gonzalez overcooks it. It's a struggle right now in the offense of the Lady Stags. Ilalim kanina si Gonzalez kaya kaya nag nag out yung bola. Alatamo eh, no? Approach. Yeah. And even the contact at yung trajectory ng bola. Adia. Ooh, miscommunication. Miscommunication there. So, just like that, ganun ganun lang po. First technical timeout tayo. And again, after the break, we'll have a report from Adriana Faustino. I want to add the face of the NCAA. Ah. I dare say. Lakas maka, lakas maka James Yap nung vibe ni Clint. Oh. <laughs> Bro, the Steady fist. Lang. Steady lang. Yeah, it had to be Clint, no? Yeah. Because of Clint's story coming back to the NCAA. <laughs> this is where he came from in high school. And now we're starting this new platform. So Clint, maraming salamat for the time. It's great to see you again. Last time we saw you, well, last time Martin and I saw you, uh, you were in the crowd, but we're not going to mention that. <laughs> Let's just mention... Be on a sunny Sunday, then right here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Now, it's not only the players of the Arellano Lady Chiefs and the San Sebastian Lady Stats clashing on court, but also our two legendary coaches who have forged dynasties here in the NCAA. Now, they may be rivals on court, both our coaches have great admiration for each other. Now, Coach Ovid Javier has admitted that his coaching idol, who he also calls, calls NCAA icon, is none other than Coach Roger Gorayeb. Masarap daw gayahin ang mga nagawa niya sa NCAA. Magaling at matyaga siya mag-train at may specialization siya sa setter. Kaya hindi ka raw talaga magtataka kung bakit magagaling ang players ng Baste program. And speaking of specialization as a setter, alam niyo ba na Coach Roger Gorayeb actually trained a young Coach Ovid in high school? He is very happy with Coach Ovid its NCAA career so far and how great he is at applying those decision-making skills as a young setter but now as a head coach. Master court tacticians with massive respect for each other is truly a sight to behold and that's what the game is all about, right Martin and Melissa? That's right, Aliana. Thank you so much. Great report. Again, full circle pala para sa parehong coaches natin. Of course, Coach Roger used to teach Coach Obed. Coach Obed used to be well, under Anthony, Coach Roger, when he was in high school, and again, there's mutual admiration mula sa mga coaches natin dito. And it's and it's inspiring to see stories like that. Yeah. Grabe yung colorful, you know, history ni Coach Roger sa NCAA. Hindi lang yan, even sa ibang leagues, ang galing talaga niya as a coach, and he's really the coach that other coaches look up to. Yeah. Coach Roger, legendary head coach. Tried and tested. Different levels, professional, college. Ito naman si Coach Obet Javier also has proven himself here in the NCAA, bringing championships to this institution, the Arellano University, in the women's volleyball scene. Meantime, it is Santos who hasn't found her groove yet. There's a dig. It will not be tracked down. Maui Magali able to score. Arellano is getting the rhythm, they're feeling it, but unfortunately, sa side ng Lady Stags, medyo slow start sila ngayon itong second set. And iba yung vibe nila ngayon. They're having a hard time with communication, with their service receive reception. So, we'll see. And that Santos uh, crashing to their bench. Gonzalez. That's a difficult pass to Santos, pero kinargahan yun. Ikat Santos. You'll also notice na kung sino tinatarget ngayon ng Lady Chiefs sa service receive. Mm -hmm. si, Santos. si Santos. Mapalikod, mapaharap, pinapagod nila talaga. That's an encouraging score and point para dito kay Ikat Santos. Again, only two points so far. Leading scorer to ng Lady Stags. Napipigilan ng Arellano University in different ways nila ginagawa yan. Like what Mel mentioned. But right now, she scored two straight points. Kat, Kat Santos just answered you, Martin. Oh, <laughs> so she might be finding 
her uh, rhythm here. Tignan natin kung magpapatuloy ito para kay Kat Santos. We know what she can do. Here's the jump serve. Mm. Derecho kay Magaling. Raha! Wow! Running strike from Robby. Ano yun? That's Bay Mangubat with a hit. Grabe yung running attack nila. Alatang ito yung pinag-practice-an nila. Yeah. And late yung blockers magsara doon. It was right between the two blockers. Doon pinadaan yun ni Mangubat. Amakatan. Joust is won by Tan again. Padillon. Santos was right there at the back. They go to Gonzalez. Here's the pass to Moming. Ibero was there. Tepusoy. Nope. Padillon sends it across. Here's Tan. Saved. Great effort. Mula sa magkabi lang panik natin. Pagdating sa depensa. Oh, Tan with a perfect placing. What a smart move there. Nakaharap siya dito sa cross court, pero sa other side din nilagay. So, nakabatay na sa kabila yung libero eh. Serving Ito yung putos ni Amakatan, yeah. But great defense for both teams. Both teams. Grabe. I have to commend our the libero from both teams. Oh! That's a point for the Lady Chiefs. So 12 to 6. There is Arellano doubling up on San Sebastian. Pao de Guzman is able to score from the back. Santos. Ooh, Kat Santos. Yep. Another point from the back line. I think this is, his this is her second point. I think it's safe to say. From the back line. Oh, Na-overrating kasi Kat Santos. Mula niya naman sa likod. De Guzman had difficulty in getting to the ball. Amakatan will start. Uh, two players meeting at the net. And that was won by KJ Junisho. So 8 to 12 is our Tani. San Sebastian chipping away. Slowly but surely, that's how they are approaching it. Better pick up from the Lady Chiefs. Ooh. Yeah, that's also the danger of yes. the power tip. Na ganun, na. Mm. The set was too low also yeah. for her. But she needed to change it. Yeah. And for Dodi, because she approached the ball. She extended the ball. That's her style. Niya. Padillon! Wow! A power strike from Moving Padillon. Great approach there from Momi Padelion and through the block. Nakita niya, may space. Nahuli yung blocker, yung middle blocker ng kabilang team. In terms of efficiency, Moming was up there for the Lady Chiefs in Season 98. And she's the silent killer yeah. of the Lady Chiefs. That's right. Tara ito. Te Guzman, unable to convert Santos. She's been scoring from that area here in set number two. Couldn't do it that time, Padelion. Kept up. One more time for Kat. Popped up by Paralejas. What a dig. Oh, Pau de Guzman with the help of the net. Nag-adjust na si Paralejas. Nakita niya doon pumapalo si Kat Santos. How about the dig? The morning attack and then Pau de Guzman. Yep. Of course, a point that then. Yung dig ni Paralejas. Ganda. Oh, ganda. Made it look easy. Kahit ang lakas ng atake ni Santos. And, and she's a complete setter. Ha? Kasi yeah. usually pag setters, di ba, medyo um, lacking sa defense. Pero siya complete. Complete. Kahit blocking. Mm -hmm. Meron din. Uy, angled hit. Pumasok. Tagikla to De Guzman. Lazarte. Choosing Gonzalez. Boy pa. Teposo. Pots it down. CJ. The rookie getting a point right here. At isa to sa mga pinaka malakas. And one of the sharpest hits they've they've had all game long so far. And you also 
si yung reaction ni Deposoy na confident na kahit na down sila. Oh. She's, ano, she's um, doing great for the side of the lady staff. I'm faced, ano, by the situation that they're in. Moment pa din yun, overcooks it. Binabanggit mo talaga yung mas strength some players. I mentioned earlier her efficiency. Nagadak error siya doon. San Sebastian trying to creep up here. 11 serving 14. ZJ Deposoy will start. Good serve. Paralejas. Oh, combination. Absorbed right there. What a defense. Oh, Santos with the angled hit. How about that dig by Di Makulangan and then Santos. That was near the antenna na yung yeah. set, pero ginawa niya talaga mag, ng paraan para na maging sharp cross yung spike niya. Grabe yan. That was a deep, deep, deep position for Kat. And they're starting to roll. San Sebastian is only down by one. San Sebastian is getting their rhythm back sa blocking. Bantay na nalang yung si Lodi Batindaan. And they're more consistent. Less unforced errors from their side. It started nung point uh -huh. ni Deposoy. That's right. That's right. Nung regalo, ano? Oh! Right <laughs> Almost. Teguzman. That one was deflected. Dimakulangan choosing cut. Why not? But it is rejected. Gonzalez. Paralejas was there. Here comes Padillon with the off speed. Sarado. Pero buhay pa. Good save by Pablo. Gonzalez. Outside. Yeah. That happened again. Na nauna, siya, nauna siya sa bola. Kaya nasa ilalim siya. Dapat right timing for Gonzalez. That's the second one. Close call, but it ultimately went out for Juna Gonzalez. Here's Moming Padillon. That stopped the bleeding for Arellano, by the way. Kasi umaarangkada na ang San Sebastian. But the point is quickly taken back. KJ Junisha naman, mula sa gitna. So it is a closer set. As it turns out, kanina, abante ng anim na puntos itong Arellano University. Paralejas to the Guzman. Arellano is first to the second technical timeout here, up by two. Hey, big break yun, yung sa Abra. And again, you know, you're working with professional players, mm -hmm. makababa na. Okay, uh, yung coach nila is a former Mapua Cardinal ah. player, Coach Tantan Banal. So, nakikita yeah. natin si Coach Tantan was yeah, with Coach Chito during the season. Uh -huh. Kaya very active sila that uh, part of the alumni support ng uh, team ng Mapua. Tsaka uh -huh. loaded ang team mo dyan. Loaded, right? loaded talaga. Yun, we have the Mac Talios, yun, sila Prince Capiral, sila JP. We're back to our coverage. You guys are still watching NCAA Season 99. And so far, updated numbers. Neto ni Kat Santos. She hasn't produced that much. Five points, but she's starting to get her rhythm dito sa set number two natin. So we'll see if she can score more. She really has to adjust. Kasi lahat talaga sa kanya. But the Maklangan is doing great as well. Utilizing the other spikers. And so effective then yung backline spikes niya. Yeah. She gave two points for the lady stacks. So it's more of adjustment kasi siya ngayon talaga yung binabantayan. Mm -hmm. Set number one, bantay sarado siya. Ngayon depends on ng Arellana. So she had to take it from the back. Now she is back at in front and scores that one off the block. So at Santos with some power. And some pressure on the hands of the blockers. That's what she's good at. Kapag alam niya siya yung binabantayan, iaan niya talaga, lalakasan niya para mag-out na lang yung bola. De Guzman. Oh, again, consistent itong si Pau De Guzman. Another cross-court hit for Pau. She's now up to eight points so far in the match. Grabe yun. 
Tansyadong tansyado ni Pao yung cross-court hits niya yan. And kanina pa siyang hindi nababantayan ah, yeah. sa blocking. There's the underhand setup. Oh, Gonzalez with her own version of that kind of it. Tignan natin to. Talagang uh, own version niya. That was a tin- deep cross. That's right, deep Close cross. Close to the front line. Ang tinarget pa niya si De Guzman. Oh, pero tama yan kasi galing sa service yeah. area. Santos with seven so far. Ooh, Ay, regalo. And we're all tied up. 17 all. San Sebastian coming back after being down by as many as six earlier in the second set. They have equalized set number two. Kat Santos, apakatan, regalo. Mula dun sa over-received ng Arellano. Better pass. Magaling. Oh, it's going to be kept up. Good save from Kat. Free ball though for Arellano. Magaling. Kept up. But Nazarte unable to keep that alive properly. So Magaling ang pupuntos para sa Arellano. Yeah. Kanina pa siya nabablock eh. So sabi niya, lalakasan ko na lang para mag-long. Now she'll be coming from the back. Teposoy. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So, miscommunication on that last ball para din sa Arellano University. Donna was actually in an awkward position to take this. So, tabla ulit tayo. More fun here in set number two. This game is getting yeah. more exciting. That's right. De Guzman. 18 apiece. Deposoy! Nakabuelo na, pero not quite on the approach. 19-18. Adam Sibalios coming in to serve. Crucial, crucial serve here for the Lady Chiefs. They are ahead by one. This could spark something for them. Dimakulangan. Quick by Gonzalez. They go to Moming. Sent back. Paralejas. Tepusoy. Denied. Saved. Gonzalez will try. Ooh. Sobren na naman. Another outside spike from Gonzalez. So an attack error. Will give Arellano a two point eight point ganatis go to Roger. Paluin mo, wag mong ipaltokin lang on. Lalayu lalo kasi sa ilalim mo pinapalo tikit na yani. Ay, ampas dito o sampal hindi ito o nagmamadali kam iswing yung kamay mo at aspa ng bola. Hindi mo masampal ng ayos o. Of course, Juna Gonzalez is one of the newest faces in the Lady Stags. It's really when you're a rookie, when you're a first-year player, you're playing on this level. You know, you're not used to it yet. Only your fifth game. It's really when you're at the tail end of the set, you lose your composure. And Coach Roger was stressing that it's three straight points on the outside spike. So he's on the edge of the ball. So he should be adjusted now. So, pinalitan niya si Deposoy. Ini Marasigan is in the match. Amakatan with the emphatic hit. 19-20, San Sebastian. Good quick set there. No one was there. Only single block. And on the line. That's why he's on the line. Itong San Sebastian. Good response off the timeout for them. Paralejas choosing Padillon. That one was deflected. Marasigan with a drop. What an adjustment by Tina. Tina Marasigan, Tina Marasigan is stepping up for the ladies tag, you know, coming off from the bench. Yes. And you all, you will see the maturity of the player when they do the moves. Because when they do it, it's crucial. Yeah. 
Oh, Coach Chavez. Pagpapalo pa ng malakas yun eh. Nakaganyan na ka, oh. Di na bumelo. Nakaganyan pa yung kamay. Ano pang gagawin natin? Di ba? Ang tagal natin mag-react eh. O, oh, tayo mag-re-receive ba? Dapat pag nag- nag-serve sila, dapat tama ang pasa natin ha. Uy! First time, medyo mga naging animated dito ni Coach Oben. Dahil mape-pressure sila ngayon sa ginagawa ng San Sebastian. Alright, update on the performance of Maui Magaling. This is actually a good follow-up on that 10-point uh, performance. Six points so far for Maui. And getting a start from Coach Oben today, Moming. Good pass, good attempt. But that one was deflected again. Manasigan. A little awkward on the attempt. Lumabas. Tina Marisigan is still warming up uh -oh. kasi kakapasok niya lang. <laughs> yeah. So, Arellano is back in front. Will they take a two sets to none lead? We'll see. That one was denied. Oh. So, Di makulangan, unable to get to the ball. Then na iyakat niya. Pero siyempre, nasa ilalim na siya ng net. Ito. A bit of miscommunication there and medyo nag-hesitate siya kasi meron, me merong ano eh, merong blocker. Yeah. Here's KJ. Ah, uh, Janisha gets one back. So, San Sebastian kinakapita niya itong Mariliano University. And KJ Junisho has been consistent. Yeah, that's right. Hasn't been getting the ideal sets and the sharpest hits. Pero gumagana yung mga atake niya kahit patip-tip. Pablo, good pickup. De Guzman, oh, dug up by Marasigan. Santos with a push. This time they bring it to De Guzman. Marasigan again with the defense. Santos. Paralejas, tacks it for Padillon. Nakaabang si Dibakulangan. Lazarte, to Kat again. Uh, too strong for Santos. Kat Santos has been struggling in the front line. Yung set sa kanya, medyo inconsistent. Mapamalayo, bitin, or titigit sa net. So, grabe din yung adjustment from her side. Yeah. Ang uh, nag-set sa kanila doon, or sa kanya doon, yung kanilang libero. This time, it's going to be Dimakulangan with a back set. Magaling! Too strong on that cut shot. So, an attack error for an attack error. And this uh, point in the second set, Laika Tutlasan will come in for the first time. She will replace Maui Magaling. It's exciting to see her yeah. come in. So she's one of the players na maaasahan ni Coach Oben. You know, even na hindi siya 100%, but she provides points That's kung papasok, papasok siya sa court. And some fresh offense. But that time, <laughs> too strong. Malamig pa. Itong sila ay katudlasan. It's really challenging if you come from the bench. And you come in the 20s. Yes. Now, no? the second oh. In a crucial moment. <laughs> Grabe yung pressure. Gonzalez. Oh! Set point for Arellano of the service error by Gonzalez. <laughs> Ito yung panginayang mo na kay Coach Roger. That was an easy point for the Lady Chiefs and now they're down one point to get the set. Mm -hmm. Now it's Casey Adante, secondary center of the Lady Chiefs. Out there to serve. KC. Oh! Another. So this will force us to an extension in set number two. Too much power there. The counting nerves na ta. Ito si KC. Malabig pa kasi unang pasok niya, unang attempt niya. Service kagad. Service kagad. Dama. Paralehas. Better pass. Todlasan gets good, the checkout. Good connection there from KC and Laika. Kapitalga to si Laika. 
nakakapasok lang. Converting on her second attempt. Ito sa ating laban. Set point situation once again for Arellano. Better pass. Santos doesn't want the set to end. <laughs> what a powerful spike. Dito gumana si Kat mula and, sa harap. And through the blockers pa. And now she will be coming from the back. 25 apiece here in set number two. Santos to serve. Oh, uh, what a serve. Quick attack. Easy up for Kat. They choose Tina. Nasa likod si Pao. No second ball though for Arellano. And San Sebastian takes the lead. From six points down here in set number two, they climb back. Laika was, you know, nagbabacktrack na siya eh, expecting to spike. Coach Obet, let's listen in. O oh, sige, malayo pa yan. Itama lang muna natin yung pasa, sayang yung pagkakataon. No? Dilipat natin sa kanila yung pagkakataon eh. Pasahan nyo muna, pasahan nyo muna. Service coach na ba? Oo. Pero pag nag-ano, si Jonah na. Let's go! And Coach Obito Vier sending out some instructions in this crucial moment. Starting with a good pass and a good spike. You know, they need points right now. And they had a good start during oh, the second set. That's right. Pero kumapit ang Lady Stags. Simula pa lang, malaki na. Yung mula abante nitong Arellano. Oh! Oh. Yeah, that, that was a perfect timeout. Para dito kay Coach Obet Javier freezing the server. Kat Santos commits the error. And now, we're all tied up again. Yan yung risk ng jump serve. Napakamat na lang si Coach. Oh, yeah. Serving Maui more time here in set number two. Maui Magaling is back in. Good serve. Manasigan. Cross court. Inside. That was it. You know, Tina Manasigan has been providing points since yeah. she came in. Off the bench today. And Fresh legs. And very consistent with her defense. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nakita natin siya. Dumi defense. Nagdidig kanina ng mga malalakas na atake. And Spikers ng Arellano, Adante. Underhand pass, momming, absorbed by Lazarte. Para Sigan. Oh, ends set number two. What a finish. San Sebastian with the eight point turnaround. And it is ended by Tina Marasigan, who has provided the goods. Dito po sa ating ikalawang set. Tabla na tayo sa ating laban. <laughs> One set apiece. We'll be back for set number three after a few reminders. You won a rookie MVP. I feel like this is the sweetest feeling for you, especially returning to the NCAA. Um, your thoughts on that? Kasi syempre, ikaw, alam ko, ang expectation mo sa sarili mo, mataas pero syempre hindi mo hindi mo naman igugol na mag rookie MVP ano naman yung mga feelings mo thoughts mo about winning rookie MVP uh, I mean exactly uh, every game parang ano eh uh, one game at a time yung yung mentality ko so pag good game ako sa ano etong game na to parang it adds on until may nagsabi you can win ano rookie MVP you can win so parang when you reach to that point na yeah, warden ka na. So, mostly parang bali, al alam mo na. Kasi, okay. syempre, mga dami nagkasabi sa'yo eh. And, yun nga, may mga stats to prove it. So, sa long landslide daw, sabi. So, yun, sobrang thankful and grateful din ako na, yun, ganun, ganun tiwala sa'kin ni Coach Randy. I actually felt na Clint had a big chance for the Six, we needed an extension to the side. Set number two, Martin Aviar with Melissa going here in the coverage. Set number two natin, we saw Arellano take the early lead, but San Sebastian showed us 
the hunger to get their first win of the season. You know, it was a turnaround when Tina Marasigan went in and grabbed yung adjustment. Then, nag start yung first point niya, and then yung nasa backline na siya grabbed yung defense niya. Kaya nakumuha din ng kumpiyansa sa defense yung iba niya rin teammates. You know, you really need that one player, you know, to to stop the momentum of the opponent. And dre dre chun na yun ang yari sa ladies tag. Tina Marasigan is one of the four seniors. Neto ni Coach Roger Gorayev did not start today. Came off the bench, but what a spark she provided. Again, entering midway through set number two and just leading them into that run. They were up again, or they were down rather, by six points. At multiple times in that set, Mel, hinabol nila, kinapita nila itong Arellano. And ultimately, they won that one 28 to 26. Kaya tabla po tayo sa ating laban. One set apiece. And this is an encouraging sign for San Sebastian. 19 to 13 attack advantage. You know, they have better service receive reception. Ganda na reception nila. Kaya din nakakapuntos din sila. Ganda ng set. na utilize nila. Gumanda yung defense nila sa floor defense. Even then sa blocking. Yeah. Gumanda yung block nila. And all of the spikers provided points too from their end. Kahit mas marami yung error nila. Yes. Diba? Nabawi mm -hmm. nila sa atake at napantayan nila itong Arellano pagdating sa blocking. Which is which was a major advantage for Arellano University in the opening set. Alright. So ito na po. Set number three, we are assured of a set four. Dito sa laban natin. Maybe a set five, who knows? <laughs> Maybe our third five setter of the season. Alright, good to have you with us. This is the NCAA Season 99 on GTV, also live streaming via NCAA Philippines and GMA Sports PH on YouTube, Facebook, and X. The leading scorers not so far for San Sebastian. It is Katsantos with eight points. On the other side for Arellano, also with eight points is Pau de Guzman. First rally of set number three. De Guzman who has been Silent since midway through the second set. And this is a player that they want to activate here, Mel. Pau de Guzman, very reliable in this match. Hardly stopped by the blockers. Lalong lalo na kapag ka nandu na siya sa kanyang uh, cross court hits. Here she is again. Oh! Another try! So, De Guzman, two quick points. First player in double figures with 10 points already across her name. And De Guzman also had her career high. Let us see Pao De Guzman. Wow! Regalo! <laughs> Three straight. Three straight points from De Guzman. Grabe naman. Yung inaambag dito ni Pao. Regalo. Ikatlong sunod na puntos. All of Arellano's points coming from her so far here in this set. And Sebastian off to another slow start. Santos. That's Kagikla with a dig. Popped up by Lazarte. Here comes Marasigan! Continuing her rampage that started in set number two. Marasigan putting it down. Good down the line. Spike there by Marasigan. That's what she is capable of. Talking about Tina Marasigan. She was the leading scorer of Baste in season 98. Even ahead of Kat Santos a season ago. Kanda ng swing dito. Mainit si Pau de Guzman. Apat. Four straight points. Wow. All her points for the third set. And she's wow. doing it in different ways, Mel. How the Guzman is on fire. Oh, Coach Roger, furious here. He's contesting the outside. Oh, yeah. And for San Sebastian, since set number one, meron na silang mga tawag na kinokontest. Yung mga inside-outside na bolang ganon. All right. 
A yellow card on Coach Roger. Just letting the referees know his thoughts. And to alert as well everybody here. Lalo yung mga linesmen natin, saka referees. Referee number one with a yellow card. Referee Ray Galve. All right. 4-1. Santos off the combination. Good dig by Moming. Oh, boy pa. Santos will readjust and score. Two to four in the third set. Another down the line hit. Medyo nagiging weakness ngayon ng Lady Chiefs ang depensa sa down the line. Yung broken play na yun. Oh! Ace from Juna Gonzalez. You haven't had a lot of those. Wala masyadong ace dito sa laban na to ang San Sebastian. And the Lady Stags now, iba yung Iba yung tindig nila ngayon oh. compared sa start of the second set. Yeah. Oh, to di ba tindaan? With a slight delay on that power tip. Even she's a tall player. Grabe yung hang time oh. niya sa net. And ang hirap basahin kasi ang bilis ng kamay niyong tip ng, ng kamay niya eh. Hindi mo alam kung saan niya dadalhin, ano? Correct. Three attacks, three blocks for Dodi so far. Here's the push. Wow. Yeah. Alam ni KJ ko anong gagawin niya bago pa siya umangat. Iba na yung depensa ngayon ng Lady Stags. May kita mo na sa mga, sa mga first, second set, puro spikes. Ngayon, nag adjust na sila. May drop ball. They know na it's working for them. That's right. KJ with the point. Four to five. Pao de Guzman, who has been on fire. That's going to be an error. On the lady stacks. A net touch there by Kat Santos. So the Guzman is back to serve. Four points Serena here 14, in the third set. Twelve in total so far. All off attacks as you guys can see. Oh, this time she adds another point via an ace. Limang puntos na para kay Pao dito sa set number three. Pao de Guzman is stepping up for the Lady oh. Chiefs. She's just on fire in the zone. Itong si Pao. Santos. Ah, oh, yeah. Santos able to connect. Kinailangan nila yun, men. They had an unforced error earlier. They're unable to stop Pao. And it's surprising now, sa defense niya na Lady Cheese, may kita mo na tumitigil sila. It's not their normal, you know, movement yeah. pagdating sa depensa. Grabe sila sa coverage during the first uh, first set. So yeah. ngayon, medyo tumitigil sila. Kanina pa nakakakuha ng mga puntos. Kanina, nakadrop ball itong si Dionisio. Doon si Katya Pumuntos. Here's Magaling. Back row hit for Kat. They're looking for a check. Will it be given? Nope. Outside, first technical timeout here in set number three. Arellano ahead. Also by three. Pagbalik natin. A report from Aliana Faustino. Coach Hammer versus Madzo. Yeah. Uh, much, much respect. <laughs> totally dominant player. <laughs> facts. That. Facts. Yeah. Diba? Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. Patikim pa lang po ito. We are so excited for what's to come. Game On Podcast with yep. me, Martin, and Coach Hammer. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nanood. Reminder though, NCAA Season 99 Volleyball, volleyball. Tournament with our ultimate analyst. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Anton Ross. Begins right here because for our two squads, we have a tale of a reliable star 
and an unsung hero who have top performed for both our teams in their previous matches. Now for the Lady Stags, that is the ever-explosive Kat Santos. Now would you believe that her volleyball journey began because of her strong underhand serve? Tapang, iwala at pagpubersige ang puhunan niya sa pagiging isa sa mga pinakamagaling na spikers dito sa NCAA. Now despite their not-so-ideal start, expect Kat to lead their fight and never say die. Hinding hindi sila basta-basta magpapatalo. Meanwhile, a spark plug for the Lady Chiefs is the bubbly Mommy Padillon. Puhunan niya naman ang pagkitiwala sa sarili kahit hindi ito ginagawa ng iba sa kanya. Ang kanyang mindset ay hindi lamang ang paglaban basta-basta, pero ang paglaban na may pag-iisip. Sabi nga ni Coach sa kanya, daladala -dala nila ang pangalan ng Arellano kaya ang bawat laro ay dapat mala championship game. So it's safe to say that for the Arellano side of things, Arellano versus San Sebastian is a championship game. Tiwala at labanan ang puhunan nila and that is what makes them heroes of the game. They really are ones to watch so let's see how they do in this extended match. Martin and Melissa? Thank you so much, Arellano. Profile on two key players mula sa magkabi ng panik natin, Moing Padillon and uh, Kat Santos. Speaking of a championship mindset, nanonood sa atin ngayon, former Arellano Lady Chief. Maraming championship para sa Arellano University, former finals MVP, Regine Arrocha, watching us right now. Okay. Regine Arrocha has been very supportive oh, for the Lady Chiefs. Yeah. She has been watching their games. She's been watching. Very supportive. Every year yet, since her graduation. But ang ganda ng story nung dalawang uh, scorers natin. Dagdag ko lang sa story nito ni Kachi. Almost stop uh, playing competitively, lalong lalo na nag pandemic tayo. It was actually Coach Roger and San Sebastian that you know gave her another chance and convinced her to come back. Good decision, man. Padilion. In the meantime, and that's the championship attitude that Coach Obed is looking for from her. And Moming Padelon is really the unsung hero of the Lady Chiefs. Again, this is a spiker that can score in a variety of ways for them. Timakulangan. Oh, popped up by Magaling. Padelon! Too strong. I saw it on her contact with the ball. A bit offset there, and nasa ilalam siya ng bola. Medyo struggled in from her end mm -hmm. na ipasok yun. And she's trying to, you know, um, give powerful spikes kasi kailangan nila bumawi from their loss sa second set. Yeah. So Amakatan sending that one straight to Pablo. Ooh, it's a free ball. Tan! Activated. I don't know. That's KJ. Activated. By Dimakulangan. There you go. Again, she's been effective in this match. Pero dito, may power na yung atake ni KJ. Padalyon. Oh! With a quick counter. That's good placement. And I think si KJ Dionisio, I think din try siya maging opposite. Then binalik din siya sa middle. Yeah. I think mas ano siya dito eh. This is her position. KJ Dionisio. Yeah, last season... It's a wing, mm -hmm. she was effective, but not as effective as, as when she was. Yes. Yeah, a middle blocker. Ooh, mistimed right there by Batindaan. A lot of unforced errors from the Lady Chiefs side. Yeah. And this is something they have limited in the first two sets. Ito mga errors nila. So Marasigan. Paralejas to Batindaan, pinabawi. Ito si Dodi Batindaan. Dod, yeah, Donna Paralejas quickly giving the confidence Quick back. Yeah. Kasi nagkaroon sila ng uh, magandang connection previously. And bumawi ka agad. Bumawi. Santos, oh, roofed. The set was too far. Ang hirap doon, lalo na pag frontline. Ganda ng nasa harap mo eh. Gagaling na blockers ang nasa harap mo. Dodi Patindaan, this is her ninth point in the match. At kill block pa. Two point lead for the Lady Chiefs. Push! Not gonna work for KJ. 
There goes man. Oh, the lady stacks with her own version of a kill block. So wala talaga lumana yun dito, man. Good blocking there. Kita mo, nakapayong talaga. At ngayon ang adjust na itong San Sebastian kay De Guzman, ano? Who had an excellent start dito sa ating third set. Inangguluhan ni Kat. Just tipping it over. Magaling. Ooh! Wow! Yeah! Maui Magaling! Beautiful read by Maui Magaling. That's a hard soft spike offset. Tapos pinilit niyang cross. Kita mo yung katawan niya talaga. Kumabig. Sabi yung angulo din ni Magaling. And it resulted to a point. Ooh! KJ barely getting to it. Pero enough for, for them to get a point. That was a lucky hit. Natapulisan lang eh. The ball was too high, but luckily, tumama yung kamay niya. You can tell. Napagit mo kanina. Balik niya sa middle blocker position. Parang komportable itong movement ni, ni KJ Janusha. Drop is well read by Kat. Back set quick. Not gonna work. Back set rin. Papunta kay De Guzman. It's alive. Magaling will try. Too strong though. Tabla tayo sa set number three. What a game this game. Yeah. Set number one, it was a convincing win by the Lady Chiefs. Set two, kinapita ng San Sebastian, nanalo ang baste. Set number three. And you see a different vibe now sa Lady Stags. Uh, yeah. Oh, that, that one is saved. Oh, this one will not be saved. Wow, de Guzman. Guzman scores. The set was short, pero ginawa ng paraan ni Pau de Guzman. Kasi kanina pa nabablock yung spike niya eh. Dr Sabi niya, drop ko muna. Then it worked. And as a veteran spiker, 13 puntos na para sa kanya. Five here in the third set. Kailangan mabilis na yung reaction mo dun sa depensang binabato sa'yo ng kalaban. Magaling! Oh, the salty was right there. Santos! Oh, scores! Sinimplihan na lang yun ni Kat Santos. Let's check this one out. Oh. One, two, step, approach, and then drop niya. But no one was there to get it. To... 11 points already for Kat Santos. She had a slow start. Yeah, she did. But now she's catching up. It started in the second set as well for Kat. You know, every time I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. Try it again. Let's see how many. Santos in the service error earlier. Marasigan. Padillon. Oh, her drop was red. Santos. Outside. So 16-14, we head to the second technical timeout. Mga kapuso, let's take a quick look back at the early goings of our brand new NCAA Volleyball Tournament here in the first edition of our Week in Review. On opening day last Sunday, the Benil Lady Blazers began their quest for a three-peat on a high note as they dominated EAC 25-15, 25-14, 25-23. Graduating middle blocker Mitch Gamet led the way for the Taft Avenue-based squad with 10 markers. In the match that... Welcome back to the coverage and hello from the other side. Ganda nito, split screen with Mr. Rocco Nasino. Miss Melissa Gohing Nasino right here. Gulit ako, gising si Rocco. Gali pang taping yan. Oo, diba? Pero ngayon, driver daw siya. Ayan, of course, Rocco Nasino. One of the Capuso stars in attendance to support Mel, my partner, this afternoon. But mommy, I'm going to check. Is Rocco tough on you when you cover games? No, naman. no naman. he's very supportive. And um, 
this is a fact, um, taga Mapua siya. Oh. Kaya yung last na game na kinover ko, he was cheering. Oh. Okay. So, yun pala ang bias ni Rokot. Ah, nga, taga Mapua yan. Yes. Service so, services of the technical timeout. Awi Magaling able to connect. 17-14. Magaling targeting Gonzalez, a rookie. Isipan mo, dadating sa'yo yung bola. Wala ka namang puhunan dyan. Pwede yung receiver niya. Dapat nga yun, Pinakabog daw itong si Juna Gonzalez lalo sa kanyang reception number so far from Kat Santos she is up to 11 points already kanina sa update natin 5 puntos pa lang o ito na po yung uh, totoong Kat Santos lumabas na yes she's back mm. good time out as well for Coach Roger magaling commit si serve, uh, service error and the timeout can also to cut the momentum of the team. Said, dere, dere, chon, three oh. straight points na yung Lady Chiefs. And San Sebastian, now if you've come back from six points down in the second set, you're confident that you can erase this lead, but not in that way. Kinakulangan with the service error. And the Lady Chiefs are banking on their service. Grabe yung service nila sa set na to kasi alam nila Kailangan nila eh. Medyo weakness din kasi ng Lady Stag ang service received. That's right. Ito, dinerecho nila kay Kat. Oh, that's a good hit from Tan. Good coverage. It will go across though. Chance ball. Tan again. This time she connects. So the middles are activated here in the third set. Tan. Dinerecho kay Coach Obit. And Dumakulangan is utilizing all of it, all of her players. Kasi banta yung wings niya. Eh. Oh. That's right. Variating itong si Dimakulangan. Paraleha Sharin Dao. Gonzalez. Oh, the swipe. Pinadaan ng sa mga kamay ng blockers ni Juna Gonzalez. What a smart move there. Kita niya walang check ball. Simple tip na check. Yan ang mahirap i-cover, yung ganyang klaseng bola. Mm. Ano, no? Hindi mo mabasa. Mm -hmm. Oh! It's a service ace! Unleashed by Amakatan! Amakatan is also one of their strong servers. Yeah. Strong servers, oh. Itong si... One of the strongest servers na itong San Sebastian, si Tan. You know, kahit pitik lang eh. Oh, Donna Paralejas with a one-two play. No, that's hard. Strong server, kahit na lumampas yung bola, over-receive. Pero pag front line talaga si Paralejas. Ano pa yun, ha? Guiding that ball with her offhand. And lefty pa. Yun. 1918. Underhand set for KJ. KJ doesn't score. Buhay pa. Moming. Dimakulangan, choosing Marasigan. Popped up by Magaling. Ooh! Pero itatawid ni Magaling. Another chance ball for Baste. Quick attack for KJ Jonisho. Quick attack there by KJ Jonisho. She's getting her rhythm and pasok sa blockers. And for a middle blocker, Napakarami ng puntos na ni KJ. Up to 11 points already in the match. Let's serve. Toddy. Pasang-basa ni Lazarte. Gonzalez. Oh. Juna Gonzalez is able to score. And once again, San Sebastian takes the lead in the final stretch of a set. Great offense from the side of the Lady Stags. Kanina pa nagda-dive kahit saan saan sa court niyong Lady Chiefs. Oh, what a sharp serve by Marasigan. Masyadong mababa para kay Batindaan. Alright, Coach Obet, this will trigger a timeout for him. 
Kahit abante na yung dalawang San Sebastian. Hoy, bigay mo sa iba! Hindi na nakikinig eh. after nung instruction ni Coach Orkin. I was gonna say that, yung long stare. Oh, long stare, yeah. Was... Kung ikaw player ka, parang, okay. <laughs> I need to listen to my coach. Oh, grabe impact nun. Pati tayo, eh. naramdaman natin eh. Dahil alam din niya, kasi again, setter, itong si, you mentioned earlier, so, he knows the feeling. Oh, bumawi naman agad-agad itong Arellano. Pagkatapos ng timeout, De Guzman, with a swing, 20 to 21. It's Molly Padillo serving Padillo will start. Six points as a starter today for Padillo. Oh, what a play from the Lady Stags. That one motion quick. And the slight push from KJ Jonisho drops Nobody it. Nobody moved. That's in the boss. Right into the donut hole. Better pick up from Arellano. They go to Pau. Denied. KJ Jonisho with a kill block. What a game for KJ Jonisho. Mapa block man, mapa quick. Wow, she's been giving points for the for the lady stack. And now they're starting to check Pau de Guzman and <laughs> the celebration from Amakatan and the rest of the Lady Stags. They're up by three. Tan or KJ. Buhay pa. Himakulangan to KJ again. Outside. Too much heat. Too much, too much power there from KJ. Pero konti na lang. Pasok na lang yun. Corner, corner hit na yun eh. So, Harim Sibalios comes in again. Service Her. specialist of Arellano. And also defense specialist. Yeah. Lucky ulit ang pressure na to. <laughs> Down two. Nasa 20s na yung scoring natin. Nung kapapasok. Hey, what and that's, that's why she's there. Service ace off the bench. Harim Sibalios with the conversion. You know, hands down to players, yung mga service receive specialists. Nerves of steel, no? Coach Roger, pakinggan natin. Ayang eh, huwag tayo mag-sorry, mag-isip tayo. Puro tayo sorry, dalawa lang naman yan eh. Kayo, huwag nyo patayin yung momentum nyo. Huwag niyong putulin yung momentum niyo, sabi ni Coach Roger Goreyeb. They're on a roll here. They were in a much better position earlier when they were up by 3, 23 to 20. Dalawang sunod na puntos. Ang sinagot na itong Arellano University. They're coming off an ace. Mula dito kay Harem Sebalios. Mm, and a service error. Will send San Sebastian. Set point, 24-22. Time out. Time out for the University. Coach Obet. Pasahan nyo lang. Kunin natin yung bola niya, pasahan nyo. Percentage lang ang gagawin mo. Ha? Automatic yan, babantayan yan eh. Ngayon kung mabibigyan ka ng bola, kung itatrouble mo, huwag mo itrouble sa gilid. Kanina ko pa sinasabi, itrouble nyo sa gitna. Receive muna, ha? Tara, tara, tara. Ayaw pa yan. 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 Okay, complete yung instructions ni Coach Obet. Pero ang makalaga yung reception nila para makapag-set up sila sa kanilang obensa. And yung porsyento nila yung consistency nila sa obensa. So kung porsyentuhan, may dalawang option. Itong si Paralejas. Si 
Pau de Guzman was being very effective. And this lady, Maui Magaling. Santos, oh, had to stop. Oh, bumalik sa kanila. Oh, this is a strange sequence. Tax it. De Guzman, too strong. No check. And that's how we will end set number three. San Sebastian coming from behind once again to snatch one away from Arellano. 25-22 was the end of set three. We go to set four after a short break. continues in season 99 and this time it's her story that will unfold as the volleyball tournament has officially taken off easier said than done though last april 7 the much awaited opening ceremony took place with an exciting lineup of matches Loot. That's a cross -court hit. but perhaps the most anticipated storyline in this chapter of the ncaa features the reigning queens of the league the Benilde Lady Blazers. The defending back-to-back -back champions began their quest for a three-peat with an intact core led by setter Cloan Mondoniedo along with high flyers Gail Pascual her presence felt here. and Jade Hentapa. Season 97 MVP Micah Go finally made her return to the court as well. However, Chairman of the NCAA Season 99 Volleyball Tournament and dito po si Sir Frank Boozy Jr., Mancom representative as well of Perpetual. And Father Virgil Paredes, OAR, Mancom representative of San Sebastian. In attendance watching, sitting right beside each other, yung dalawang yan, uh, may, uh, Mancom representatives natin. Set number three, some highlights here, Martin Avier with Melissa Gohing Nasino taking care of the coverage. So set number three, almost the same story in set two, Mel, in, uh, when it comes to the comeback that San Sebastian made. Sobrang consistent talaga ngayon pagdating sa defense, service reception, yun na may kailangan nila eh. Yeah. Una, mag-receive sila. Ayun, ang ganda ng coverage nila nila. And then, naging, effect, naging effective yung blocking nila sa third set. Tuloy-tuloy na eh. Iba na yung vibe nila eh. Tsaka, Tsaka parang nakat nakatigim na sila nung kapit nung second set. Kaya nagdire-diretso na lang pati sa third set. That's right. At binanggit mo yung iba yung energy ng San Sebastian Ladies Tags. After they won set number two, set number three, naroon na silang swag, kumpiyansa. You know, Effective ata like yung, that. yung nag sumasayaw. Sumasayaw, ano? Oo oh, nga, <laughs> mukhang buenas. Para dito sa San Sebastian, as we take a look at the numbers, in that uh, set number three, they had more blocks. Yes, and for and daming unforced errors ngayon ng Arellano, and daming tinginan yeah. sa depensa, and then yung mga digs nila na pupunta sa net, walang kumukuha. Alam niyo yung mga simpleng balls na ganun, walang kumukuha. Yeah. So, and daming errors. But for the side of the ladies' tags, they're more consistent with their attacks. They have more blockings, and ginalingan na nila sa service then. Kasi yung dami din nilang magagaling na servers eh. So, they're really doing well, yeah. the ladies' tags. And you see their vibe now. They they got their confidence back during the second set. And nagtuloy tuloy na. Even they were down again nung start of the third set. That's right. Oh, this is Sir Francisco Polino Caico uh, of Arellano University from uh, yeah, NCAA Policy Board. And for president. Arellano University as well. Part of the season 99 policy board natin sa NCAA. All right, set number four. Tignan natin kung matatapos na dito ng San Sebastian ang laban and you know can they secure their first win of the season or can Arellano stay alive and force a fifth set? Kung sa kasakali ikatlo po natin five setter match in season 99. Ah. We start off with a kill block for the San Sebastian. The set was a bit close, kaya medyo na hirapan si Padelion don. Again, this is strange for Arellano University. Ang layo mula sa kanilang performance mm -hmm. no opening set. And 
ang daming miscommunications between the setter and the spikers, which is rare. Uh -huh. Kasi grabe din yung connection ng spikers and setter nila eh. Mel, you've been part of winning teams uh, all throughout your career. But of course, there are games na down kayo, two sets to one. Ano usually yung naglalaro sa isip ninyo? And how do you handle that type of situation? You know, back to basic. Yun yung lagi sinasabi ng mga coaches. Yung focus on your game. Simplehan nyo lang yung laro. Mabilis lang yung volleyball. Yun know, usually yung mga sinasabi ng coaches. Magtiwala lang sa sarili. And now, that's, you know, what Arellano is trying to bring back here. Staying within their system. It's going back to their play. And play more consistent volleyball. Ooh, too strong for KJ Junisho. So and, it, yeah, oh. and it was a good move. Yeah. Uh, the coach Roger na ipasok si Pina. Mm, yeah. Si Marasigan, ano? It really changed the game. That's right. Came off the bench today itong si Tina Marasigan ang nagsimula sa kanila si ZJ Deposoy. Marasigan on cue. Okay. So, I think yun yung una, unang beses na pinag-usapan natin. Yes. Na maganda yung nangyari sa player. And si Tina, <laughs> nag-follow through siya. Follow through. <laughs> Again, she has been the difference maker so far. Para dito sa Lady Stags, an instant threat. Wow. Also, another, at the service line. Another point. And that's very challenging, ah. Kapag jump serve, tapos ida down the line niya. Sa corner niya pati na target. Uh, yeah. Seven points off the bench for Marasigan. Oh, this one goes straight to the net. Okay, na hindi na yung jinx. Well, kasi uh, naka two points na siya. Oh, nga eh. <laughs> Four to three. Moming Padillon starts for Arellano. Again for the fourth straight set. Or third straight set. Eh, mas maganda ang simula ng Arellano University. Villa Flores swings. Wow. Oh, magic bunot. Mula dito kay Coach Obed Javier Villa Flores. He just entered the match at the beginning of set number four. I'm actually surprised na ngayon lang pinasok ni Coach Obed ah. si Hart. She's been doing well sa previous games nala. And siya yung rookie na maasahan. Gaminin yung punto sa binibigay niya para sa Lady Chiefs. Ang dinescribe sa akin ni Coach Ovet dito, nung nakitaan niya to, and a couple of games ago, pagkapasok ka, buo ang loob. Mm -hmm. Pero ito, San Sebastian quickly taking the point back. It is Juna Gonzalez connecting on this hit. Wow! That's her 11th point. And that is a sharp cross-court hit from Gonzalez. And nakuha niya na yung momentum uh -huh. niya and yung timing niya sa bola na sinasabi ni Coach Roger kanina pa sa kanya. That's right. Ooh! A miss set. Yep. That, that's too near the net. It's really challenging for the Liberos kasi sila yung nagahabol pag kunyari misreceive uh -huh. or misdig. Sila yung magsaset. Medyo mahirap din from their end. And kanina pa rin, kanina din siya nagsaset. Kanina uh -huh. pa nagahabol. You know, you know how that feels, Amel. Yes. For sure. Kasi hindi, hindi mo yung specialty eh. Yung mga pase. But so, I love setting. Dream okay. ko kasi yung position setter talaga. Setter, okay. Mas gusto mo ba ang... Siyempre, underhand set. Maybe, I like oh, underhand, underhand set better. Set. Sometimes that's more difficult. Oh! Santos. That one was just too powerful for the blockers. Santos connecting. Six all. Ito na. Dikit pa rin tayo set number four. KJ in double figures today. They choose Hart. Too strong on the cross court. Abante na ang San Sebastian. Tinry ni Hart ni Iwa sa blockers kasi saradong sarado pero it was just too long. 7 to 6. Oh, nice serve by KJ Junisho. Villa Flores, yes! 
targeting that open area at the back. Good bounce back there for Hart Villa Flores, a rookie. But again, ito yung mga fighter na hinahanap ni Coach Obet. Especially ngayon, dehado sila sa ating laban. Audi Guzman. Underhand pass. Oh, Santos able to tip it in. Ginawa na lang ng paraan ni Kat Santos. Pupuntos pa. And Sebastian is first to the technical timeout. Then on the other side, an update from Aliana Faustino. What was the most shocking transfer to you? Yung nakita mo last season na pwede ko itong kakampi. Pag kakampi ko ito, champion kami. Who would win a one-on-one game between you and Jake? Oh! Bakit ba lumilipat ang mga players? Maraming factor yan. Yan yung susubukan natin pag-usapan at himayin kasama ng ating special guest for today. He is the reigning rookie MVP of NCAA Basketball, Mr. Clint Escamis, on this episode of Game on the Podcast. Things are heating up in this matchup between the Arellano Lady Chiefs and the San Sebastian Lady Stags because both teams are now recognizing just how much higher the stakes are in this crucial fourth set. Now in their intense huddles, Coach Obet Javier asserted that the girls need hindi pwedeng nakatulala sa laro. Kailangan daw nila ayusin ang reception, blocks at service na tila nawala these past sets at iwasan daw nila ang mga error na kaya naman iwasan. Ang laki laki raw ng bola, kaya dapat anticipated nila kung saan ito bumabagsak. Meanwhile, a more calm down, Roger Gorayev wants his girls na gamitin ang isip, gamitin ang volleyball IQ. He particularly spoke to his four seniors to use their experience to lead their rookie-laden team to their first victory. He reinforced just one important mindset for the team at the end of the huddle. Kailangan makapuntos ako. Kailangan makatulong ako sa team. Will it end in 4 or 5? Well, we'll have to marvel at where this exciting match takes us, Martin and Melissa. Thank you so much, Aliana Faustino, reporting for both teams. On cue yun, ah. Yung kailangan makapuntos ako. Dahil nakapuntos si Tina Marasigan. And again, so far, maganda yung pinapakita ng mga players ng San Sebastian. Services oh. from Kat. What a great jump serve. Ang lakas nun. Look at that ball. Yeah. At saka, oh, malakas. And, and kailangan naka-address kasi. Yeah. But Hart was there and she tried to get it. Kaya nag-check out talaga. Yeah, it's deceivingly sharp as well. Mm -hmm. Pero ito, nagawa ng paraan. Been a while. Since we last uh, said her name, Faye Mangubat, it's able to connect. It's nice to see na may, may running attack ulit. Oh. It's been a while na nag-running attack sila. That's right. Nawala yun sa Arellano, oh, no? And that's one of their strengths too. Yung binanggit nga ni Coach Obet, parang nakikita niya nakatulala itong uh, kanya mga manlalaro dito. In a lot of instances, it started in that second set nung hinabol sa nitong San Sebastian. Marasigan overcooks it. So 9 to 10. Arellano knocking on the door. Can they sustain though? Hart Villa Flores. Starts with the rally, first year player. Ni Coach Obet. Amakatan is denied. Excellent net defense from Arellano University. Mommy Padilion was able to read that spike. Talagang nakapayong siya. And sumisigaw na si Mommy. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is the set. Do or die. At kailangan nila ng mga ganyang moments. And players who can uplift. Itong uh, Arellano University. Santos will be coming from the back. A little long for Kat. Atabante na dito ang too, Lady Chiefs. Too much power there from Kat Santos. And we're seeing solid serving as well from Hart Villa Flores. Mula sa Albay Bicol. Itong si Hart. For zip run. 
for Arellano make that five to nothing for the Lady Chiefs to take the two point advantage. And as Coach Roger, ang tumawag ng timeout to stop the momentum of Arellano. Pinipilit mo eh. Tigil-tigil mo na yung pag-o-over ng bola. Simulat sa pool mag-start yung tournament na to. Wala ka pang napatay sa ganyan. Ang ganda nung pasok ng quick eh. Ini-over mo yung bola. Palo, pamatay. Hindi pang over. Ha? Coach Roger wants the setter, di makulangan to maximize the spikers. Alam niya hindi na work na yung one two na drop ni di makulangan, so kailangan i-maximize. Since ang gaganda naman ng palo ng mga spikers nila. Saka ang hinahanap niya, narinig niyo, palong pamatay. Hindi yung pang over. Oh! Yeah. That timeout worked. And variety of ways for Coach Roger to send out the instructions to kill the momentum of Arellano and to freeze the server that time. Now it's Von de Makulangan, the setter serving. Underhand set up to the back row. Free ball for the Lady Chiefs. Can they take advantage? Paralejas to Moming. Donna, jump set to Padillon, no. Marasigan, nandun si Pablo sa likod. The Guzman, oh, catching that corner pocket. What a smart move. Kahit nasa backline siya, nakita niya yung corner. Walang tao. How about this, Pau de Guzman. Good approach, and then tinulak niya lang yung bola eh, sa likod. That's Yun yung mga veteran moves. And that's been her specialty, mm -hmm. di ba? siya sa, sa cross-court. Cross yeah. Oh, speaking of cross-court, it's Tina Marasigan with the counter. Ang so, ganda ng laman na to, Martin, kasi palitan ng, uh, ng puntos ngayon. You know, both teams may hugot eh, kasi ito na yung time ng season na kailangan maging consistent and manalo na, lalo na from the AU, kasi gusto nilang maging parte ng top four. That's right. So more pressure on them. Itong Lady Stags, they're just trying to win that first win. So a bit more pressure from the Lady Chiefs' side. 2-2. Uh -huh. So standing set itong Lady Chiefs. Rally continues. Juna Gonzalez is sent back by the blockers. Again, establishing her presence right in front of the net. Moming Padillon. Great effort for both teams, but what a good block there by Moming Padillon. I'd consider that a single block because it delayed the closure yes. of the second blocker. Tagikla of speed for the Guzman. Popped up by Santos. What a dive. Tina Marasigan. Padillon with a save. Felia Flores from the back. Nandun si Lazarte. They choose KJ easily read by Todi Batindan. You don't do that if Todi Batindan is in front of you. Ito. Yung mga ganyang ano na, abot niya talaga. Ibabalik niya sa'yo yan ng tuldok. So now, it's a three-point lead for Arellano. At yun yung ayaw ni Coach Roger. At opposite yung instructions niya kanina sa timeout yun. Yan ang uh, gusto niyang palo. But it is dug up. Oh, chance ball. Di makulangan to KJ. A touch on Arellano. Point nonetheless for the Lady Stags. Dina Marasigan will be coming from the back now as she serves. One of the four seniors of coach Roger Gorayeb. Perfect pass. They go to Pau. Santos. Checked. Tina from the back. Nope. Quick attack. That was not over. For Dodi Batindan. 14-15. It's 14. It's 14. 
ng Lady Stags. Oh, it's a nice serve, but it is saved. Push to the back. Oh, kanda ng hanap ni Pablo de Guzman. It's still up. They go to cut this time. Pablo passing it to de Guzman, who puts it down. Second technical timeout. Lady Chief still ahead. I want to add the face of the NCAA, ah. I dare say. Last maka, last maka James Yap nung vibe ni oh. Clint. Oh. <laughs> Bro, the face. Lang. Steady lang. Yeah, it had to be Clint, no? Yeah. Because of Clint's story coming back to the NCAA. This is where he came from in high school. And now we're starting this new platform. So Clint, maraming salamat for the time. It's great to see you again. Last time we saw you, well, last time Martin and I saw you. Uh, the Arellano Lady Chiefs threatening to force a fifth set. Updated numbers para dito kay uh, Maui Magaling. She has slowed down in this match. Dahil maganda na rin yung uh, pinapakita nito ni Pau de Guzman. So it's been Pau has gotten majority of the passes. Nito Arellano University and now she is on the bench talking about the rookie. At the Maragano University, Andy Guzman able to break through that San Sebastian block. And Maui Magaling had a really great game last game, so for sure, inara siya ng ng lady stars. What is this photo of us? Martin Aguirre with Melissa Coyne as you know, <laughs> taking care of this coverage. Ay, may angas look kami. Si Mel nakangiting ako na may kanting angas look. Good response of the timeout para dito kay KJ Jonisho. De Guzman! Ito na, basa na. Santos with the push. Pablo with the up. Here comes De Guzman! De Guzman is on fire! Grab it! She continues to swing and score for Arellano University. You know what? She reminds me of Kai Balwalwa. Ooh! Right? Okay. Pati yung approach niya eh, same. Si Kai Balwalwa. Was... Who was, ano, Kai Nepomuseno. Ah, <laughs> in her college playing days. Naging Balwalwa na, no? Married. Professional na, married. <laughs> Yan. 18 to 15. Did she play for NU, I think, in college? Yes. And then... We were teammates too in, in the pros. In the pros. For three years. Pass to cut. Sarado. Tina. Ooh. Too strong. And Arellano will take a more comfortable lead. We got a timeout here by coach Roger Gorayev. Let's listen in. Eh, nagsiset ang layo-layo ng bola sa net, iniisang kamay mo. Ano ka ba? Hindi tayo pwedeng gumawa ng mga espektakulo at magpapalakpakan yung mga tao. Sirit mo ng isang kamay eh. Sumusuwing yung needle mo eh. Eh, eh habulin mo ng pasit. Ipaisahan nyo maiga. Alright, Coach Roger Gurayan. Ayo ng spectacular, siempre. You mentioned earlier, gotta go back to the basics and to the yeah. simplest plays. Para maguti uti mo to. Lalo na yung ganitong situation. Yeah. Yung very crucial na you know back to basic, you know simple lang yung volleyball. Be more consistent. Yeah. Ang importante is mag magkapuntos. That's right. Here's Pau. This time it is dug up. Santos, yes. So, a point after that San Sebastian timeout. 16 serving 19. A good check out ball there from Kat Santos. Kanina pa yung cross course niya, very effective. So, KJ now comes from the back at the front line for San Sebastian. Santos and Tan with Dimaculangan. Villa Flores, too strong. 
Coach Jerry Yi watching here. Kasama si B-Boy, humihingi ng starters. <laughs> For our next game, kalaban nila literal mamaya po. That should be a good match. Battle of the undefeated teams. Hindi pa tayo tapos dito. Off speed for Pau is red by the Lady Stags. Tatlong sunod-sunod na puntos muna sa San Sebastian to stay with the good point. Re good read there. Yeah. No, the ball was high but no one got it. Nagtinginan silang tatlo. Nandito yung malaking blocker. Tapos ang bola dito sa malaking blocker. Diba? Matagal na sila sabi sa'yo, hanapin mo lagi yung weak blocker. Eh, binigay mo doon sa malaki. Oh, maganda yung point doon ni Coach Obet kasi pinadaan niya dito kay Amang Atan. Specific instruction na kailangan iwas sa malaking blocker. Yeah. Kasi nakita mo naman yung mga blockers ng Lady Stags. Ang lalaki talaga. Correct. And we're not saying Kat is an ineffective blocker. Mas natural lang kay yes. Tan yung pag-block sa nyo. Oh, Hi, Julia Flores. And the Lady Stags, yung center nila nasa front line. Yeah. So you really have to maximize that. That's right. Julia Flores this time sending this one through. Double block. Pinalusot ni Villa Flores, Casey Adante. Serves for Arellano. Crucial stretch. Arellano trying to stay alive in the match. Dimakulangan to Dan with a drop. Pero buhay pa. What a pan. Nope. Okay. I was continuing to commentate. Tapos but that na. was a good one. Kung yeah. kung na ano talaga yun, naangat. Ano ko pancake mula kay Adante. Let's see. Drop ball for Tan. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, San Sebastian takes a point back. Oh, what a serve from Kat Santos. Wow. How about this? Mula sa kanan. Wow. What a cross. Diba? Grabe. From the right, yeah. went to the left side. At ang lakas nun. Ang lakas. Kailangan tapatan mo yun eh. Yung ganong klaseng bola. Even Pablo de Libero Farelliano had difficulty in taking that. Di makulangan. Tutan. Pinalik. Lazarte. This time to Marasigan. Denied. Back set for Kat. Arellano will set things up. Delia Flores off the block. Still alive. Marasigan wow. breaks through the block. Check ball. San Sebastian pulls ahead with this Tina Marasigan point. Even the second stringers are celebrating. Yeah. This is a new feeling for them in season 99. Can they smell the win? Combination for Villa Flores. She gets the check. And Hart says, not yet. Yeah. is not yet done. They equalize 21 all. Survey number four, Hart in the Crucial stretch. Oh! Oh! Okay, error on the side of San Sebastian. And now the Lady Chiefs are up by one. Nako. Martin, is this going to be ano, a five setter game? Well, you're here, <laughs> so it might be. <laughs> if ever, right? This is going to be the third five setter match of the season. Okay, tingnan natin. Here's the setup. Oh, Sigan with a put down. 
What a deep cross hit there. Gabi kanina pa. Down the line cross. Tina Marasigan continues to be a difference maker. At pagkailangan ng puntos ng San Sebastian, she continues to provide. And di mo kailangan knows na grabe na on fire siya ngayon. So binibigay sa kanya. Yeah. Adante. Padilion! Nope. Gonzalez! The blockers were there. Over to the other side. Woo! And again, <laughs> Christina Marasigan. What a swing right here, man. Grabe yung porsyento niya. Three na. Three points. Yeah. At magkapila. Efektibo itong si Tina Marasigan. 23-22. Lady Stags are back in front. They are two points away from taking their first win in season 99. Padillon! Oh, too strong! Match point! San Sebastian, hold on! Our referees, our referee number one, Ray Galve, is talking to our linesman. Second line, corner. So, ano, ano, mas malapit sa kanya. Crucial mo call to. coming up. Linya mo to, ha? Linya mo to. Bigay natin inside. Okay. Sa corner bumagsak ang bola. Sa corner bumagsak ang bola. Okay, okay. Inside sa akin, inside sa akin. Okay, ha? Inside din sa akin. Okay, go. Okay. What is the verdict? It's going to be given to Arellano. Inside. Coach Roger. You saw the reaction. San Sebastian not yet at match point. Let's check this one out. Oh, that's very close. Catching the corner. Itong atake ni Moming Padillon. 23 all. That was a crucial call. Mm -mm -mm. And this is why we love volleyball season. The anticipation. Sibalios back in to serve. Gonzalez sending it back. Paralejas over to Padillon. Set point for Arellano University. The Lady Chiefs are threatening to force a fifth set. Ceballos starts again. Oh! Bumalek. Oh! And we go to a fifth set. Not yet over, says Arellano. Our third five set match of the season. Adam Ceballos. Bumawe. Bumawe siya. All right. Why not? Only the first game today. Fifth set coming right up sa ating pagbalik sa NCAA Season 99. Hey, big break yun, yung sa Abra. Mm. And again, you know, you're working with professional players, mm -hmm. makamama na. Okay, uh, Yung coach nila is a former Mapua Cardinal ah. player, Coach Tantan Banal. So, Jonathan nakikita Banal, natin yeah. si Coach Tantan was yeah, with Tantan. Coach Chito during the season. Uh -huh. Kaya very active sila that uh, part of the alumni support ng uh, team ng Mapua. Oh. Tsaka loaded ang team mo dun. Loaded, Ay, loaded oh. talaga. Yun, we have the Mac Talios, yun, sila Prince Capiral, sila JP Fondo. Dami, daming ex-pros. Dali na. Ang eh. kakampi ko pa si Prince Capiral. Prince Capiral. Capiral. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll bring up ko lang. <laughs> no, I'm laughing because kahit dito sa podcast, you're really inserting yourself hey, 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 in the conversation. No, 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 <laughs> no. Kasi si Prince naging teammate ko eh. Naging teammate ko at mga kakilala ko yung mga yeah. naging coaches nila. And oh. why revet na si Prince? Bring up ko lang dahil nandito na tayo. Binanggit mo na si Spidamak ah. Spidamak. So, 
I-expect ba namin season 100 parehas na kayo ng handles? Dan versus Arellano goes to a fifth set. Ito po. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood mga kapuso. Martin Avier with Melissa Gohing Nasino here in the coverage. Our third member of the broadcast team, Aliana Faustino, as our courtside reporter. Set number four, we thought it was going to uh, San Sebastian. Pero late points from Arellano enabled them to recover and force a fifth set. It was a turnaround. Yeah. That set, parang down na yung at first yung Arellano eh. After... After second set and third set, pero nakabawi sila. And nakuha nila yung rhythm nila. And then, it was a good choice for Coach Obet na ipasok si Hart. Yung nga yung sabi nila. Alam mo, si Hart, perfect yung name para uh, sa kanya. Kasi may puso may siya. Puso. So, yeah. sobrang perfect yung name niya para sa kanya. <laughs> Hart Villaflores, binigyan ng puso. Itong uh, play ng Arellano University and that fourth set. But San Sebastian had chances. And again, it is because of the spectacular play today in Atunitina Marasigan. Ultimately, though, they could not finish the job. Arellano took advantage, came alive. Also, Moming Padillon giving them some much needed points, important points. Sama muna yung pagsa serve sa huli ni Atunihanim Sibalios that resulted to an Arellano set win. You know, great efforts sa attacks and sa blocking is just that maraming aces yung lady tags at first diba ang daming Mr. C from the side of the Arellano ang daming miscommunication but they got their groove back midway of the set and ang dami ding errors ng lady tags yeah. na yun yung huge factor kung bakit sila nadalo nung fourth set but we'll see this five set game is it going to be the first win of the Lady Stags? Oh. Or will continue the streak of our Lady Chiefs? Alright, so... Good to have you with us. Thank you for sticking around. This is the most exciting part. Set number five. Who strikes first? Amakatan. Good start there by Amakatan. So, no nerves from the veteran. Quickly converting on a point. At ito, but I think it's important that we stress that momentum coming in is on the side of the Lady Chiefs with the way they finished set yeah. number four. And that's actually what you want to see if you're Coach Roger. Yun, yun nagbigay ng set sa Arellano University. Yung errors yeah. ng San Sebastian. And ang dami din service errors. Moming Padillon, solid at the serve. Oh, Marasigan, red and dug up. Villa Flores. That one bounced off the net, not over. It was a not over spike there. Medyo mababa yung set sa kanya. Two to one. Hart stays on the court. So yung pumalik kanina kay Maui Magaling. And again, she remains on the court. Para kay Coach Obet Javier Jerez de Guzman. Oh! Good combination play there. Oh, de Guzman connects. Di makulangan had it already. Ibabaw sa bola si de Guzman. So, do all. Patindaan ang magsisimula para sa Arellano. Better pass from Lazarte. Cut! Nakabantay si Batindaan. Villa Flores. Oh, track down by Lazarte. Gonzalez. Batindaan with a dig again. Villa Flores, angled hit. Timakulangan to cut. Paralejas choosing Villa Flores. It is saved by Lazarte. What an effort. Ball is still in the air. They go back to Hart. Wow. Oh, who puts it down? What an adjustment from, from Hart. Kasi puro miss dig lahat. Yeah. Tapos yung, yung, yung set sa kanya kung saan saan. You can tell, Mel, na si Hart is a thinking spiker. Mm -hmm. And no one was there. Yeah. You were to place the ball in that sequence. Santos, kinargahan. Tax it for Juna. 
And Juna scores as we uh, go to our court side reporter, Aliana Faustino, for an update. Aliana, go ahead. Martin and Melissa in this game, no one's backing down. So in this final set, both teams received all the motivation they can get to seal the deal. For the Arellano side of things, bumabalik na raw ang kanilang organized block at depensa. Kaya nang malagpasan na nila ang fourth set, hiling na lamang ng coaches na lagyan ng tapang ang lahat ng kanilang galaw. The Lady Stags naman, hiling ni Coach Roger Gorayev. Natapos na yun, wala na tayong magagawa. Race to 15 na lang to, kaya huwag kayo mawala ng focus gawa ng matinding emosyon. In this race to the finish, kung sino ang gustong manalo, sila talaga ang mananalo. Who that is? Abangan natin, Martin and Melissa. Maraming salamat, Aliana. Ang sakit naman ng service error na yun mula kay Pauti Guzman. Pero pinag-uusapan ni Aliana, yung tapang ni itong Arellano University, it's being led by a rookie in Hart Villa Flores, ma'am. And that's true. You know, fifth set is a test of the heart. Kung sino matibay ang puso, yun yung mananalo sa fifth set. That's right. Dito naman sa San Sebastian, yun yung sinasabi ni Coach Roger, huwag kayo mga wala ng composure. Trevi Serer ulit. And they've gone through a lot. Yeah. Itong, itong game na to. That's para right. makarating sila sa posisyon nila ngayon. Again, this is the second five-set match ng San Sebastian this season. They had one against San Beda. They lost that one. Let's see. Is it a check ball? Oh, it was not given. But Kat was certain that it was a check ball. Knowing na siya na magaling siya magpa-check out yeah. ng bola. Sigurado siya. Kaya nakita mo yung reaction. Mula sa mga players natin. Let's see what Let's happens see. here. Ooh. That Very was close. hard. Yeah. yeah. Very close. Down the line. Oh, this time she converts. Nice. It's a big hit check ball. May gigil na doon mula kay Kat Santos. Kat answered right away. You know, that was our point. <laughs> yeah. Sabi niya, puntos na dapat yun eh. Now she's coming from the back. She's been serving heavy in this match. Paralejas to Padillon. Marasigan. Up by Pablo. Paralejas back to Moming. Yes! The down the line of Moming Padillon. Very hard to stop, especially in this match. Sap, the set coming from the back line, pero kaya niya pa rin gawa ng paraan. Atong kanto para dito kay Moming Padillon. It's a two-point advantage for the Lady Chiefs. Tina Marasigan puts it down. What a deep cross there by Tina Marasigan. And it was through the block. Yeah. Dodi but was there. That's right. Ang nipes. <laughs> Went for the cross court. Pero tama ka, napakalipis nun. Mula kay Tina Marasigan, 15 excellent sets today for Von Dimaculangan. Continuing to improve as a setter. Moming! Pinuhay ni Dimaculangan. Marasigan! Too strong. 8 to 6. We change sides here in set number 5. Tina tried to put it dun sa cross na wala. Yung usual niya na ginagawa, but... It was just too strong. Yeah. Dalawang abante dito ng Arellano Lady Chiefs. And again, this is only a race to 15. So, yung dalawang puntos na yan, parang apat yan. Yun yung pakiramdam. Because again, this is a shorter set that we're having. So, Donna Paralejas. She will start it up. Usually a sharp server. Itong si Donna. She will try to put pressure on the first ball of the Lady Stags. Ooh! Too low. That was below. Amakatan tried to tip it, pero ang layo kasi ng set eh. Oh, Roger. Ang sinasabi ko nga sa'yo, 
pag yung bola maganda na sa harap mo, hindi mo binibigay sa kuk. Pero pag yung bola galing sa tagiliran, nandito, nandito yung, nandito, nandito yung speaker mo, nandito ka, binibigay mo. Eh talagang mga ngalawit lang yan. Saan mo ba dapat ilagay yung bola? Eh, sinasabi ko, saan ba? Oh, alam mo, alam pala na nandito. Ay, sige! That one, that timeout was for Vonte Mapulangan. Kasi, mababa yung pagkakabigay sa kanya. Pero ibinigay niya dun sa kanyang quicker. So we'll see if she can adjust here. Here's Vaughn to Tina. That one was deflected. Paralejas going to Moming. Denied. De Guzman. Nakabantay si Dimakulangan. They go back to Tina. Opt by Pablo. Here's the attempt from Pau. And she scores. 10 to 6 in favor of Arellano. A, cons a consistent player you see there. Sumisigaw si Pau. May kita may reaction na. Yeah. And that's rare. Ha? Kasi quiet lang siya usually. Correct. Eh. Correct. Usually nga, eh, nonchalant. Di ba nonchalant masyado? Nagre-react naman siya, pero hindi ganun pa-extreme. Here's Pau again. Oh! Here you go to Tina. And the ladies dance. Wait. What? Was it ano? Kala ko, oh, pa yung bola. And the ladies dance needed that. Dahil lumolobo na yung lamang niya doon Marilliano. Getting that one through. Now, don't see Tina Marasigan. They set up Pau from the other side. Wow. Down, Down the, the line. line. The queen of Manipesna Spike. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Papa cross court. Papa down the Down. Line. And then even your soft spike. Yeah. 11. To seven. Moming with the serve. Combination for Tina Marasigan. It's alive. But a chance ball is given to the Lady Stags. Oh! Wow! The quick attack was shut down by Dodi Badindan. Quick attack there. But Dodi was there. Five point lead to the delight of the Arellano fans. Kahit anong gawin mo, hindi mo mapapalo, mabablak at mabablak ka. Pagbaso ka, tatalong ka, papalo ka. Pag-aarawin mo yung blocker mo. Pag-kombinasyon ka, pwede naman maayos yung chance. Free ball eh. Free ball yan eh. Pwede ka naman magpakombinasyon dun eh. Sino ba nandito sa likod? Eh, hindi pwede mo na magpakaloy. Diba sinabi ko na, pag free ball maganda yung receive, kukuwi ka sa likod, anong ginagawa ninyo? Diyos ko, fifth set na, hindi nyo pa rin maintindihan sinasabi. Alright, this is gonna be an uphill climb para dito sa San Sebastian. A five-point lead. They're facing right now. Tignan natin. Momin Padillon with 13 points. With three blocks. Juna Gonzalez. They go to heart. Pinakulangan to Tina Marasigan. Tina Marasigan. Pero susubukang hanapin ang San Sebastian yung kapit nila dito sa fifth set. That is off the block. Ang galing din magpa-check ni Aron o Tina Marasigan. Yeah. Magaling na gumamit ng mga kamay ng blockers. Here's the jump serve! Ay, ay, ay! Wow! That was massive. Adam Sibalios. The magic bunot. The magic bunot, that's right. Arellano is two points away from taking their third win in season 99. Good serve. 
They go to Kat, who powers it through. Pasok sa blockers. 9 to 13. San Sebastian needs a run at Santos. That was a perfect setup for her. Gonzalez, better serve. Villa Flores popped up. Santos kept alive. Pablo, underhand setup for Pau. Nandon si Tina sa ligod. Santos, yes. Back to back hits for Kat Santos. The ladies' tag is also at the advantage because in the front line, ngayon, si Kat Santos. And when it comes to such a situation, you can really get Kat. This is a portion of our team. Our team. That's a good serve again from Juna. Villa Flores! Oh! Lazarte unable to handle it. And it is match point. Arellano, Lady Chiefs. Casey Adante. 4-6 substitution for Coach Obet. Dahil kailangan niya ng maganda, malalaking blocker sa harap ng net. What a turnaround for Arellano University. Santos from the back. Oh, what a dig by Pablo. Manasigan with a counter though. Santos again. But it's a net touch. So San Sebastian saves one match point. But they cannot afford to make errors. KJ Junisho. Oh, that's too near the net. Tumama pa. Over-received. Set up for Baste. Santos with a two-handed push! Wow! That was a chance ball. Napaganda ba para sa San Sebastian. Two straight points. Two match points saved now. By the Lady Stags. Can they keep it up though? The Lady Stags are getting their momentum. Dumidikit na ang puntos. KJ to start. Serve. Oh! Difficult first ball. Ball in transition. What wow. an adjustment! Hart Villa Flores, the rookie, ends the match. Arellano takes the win. 15 to 12 here in set number five. What a great game for the Lady Chiefs. Another win for, for them. And but also a great game yeah. for the Lady Stags. They had their chances to win. But that last play, it was a broken play for Arellano. But Hart Villa Flores was able to score. Ang ganatin ang school him ngayon ng Arellano University.
our best player of the game. Your choice. Sino pa ba? Yes. Pauli Guzman. She really, you know, provided for the team. Inangat na yung team from from their lo loss during the second and third set. And sobrang consistent niya. She's pinaka consistent. And kita kita mo naman sa puntos na binigay yeah. ni Pao. From set one to set five, nakuha na ng uh, Arellano ng puntos. Etong si Pauline De Guzman, Pao De Guzman. Kaya nanalo rin ang Arellano dito. All right, let's go to a quick break. Afterwards, we'll check out the final numbers of this match. Coach Hammer versus Madzo. Yeah. Uh, much, much respect. <laughs> totally dominant player. Yeah, facts. That. Facts. Yeah. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. Patikim pa lang po ito. We are so excited for what's to come. Game On Podcast with yep. me, Martin, and Coach Hammer. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nanood. Reminder though, NCAA Season 99 Volleyball, volleyball. Tournament with our ultimate analyst. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Anton Ross. Oh, well, catch us next week. Marami pa kami pagkukwentuhan dito. And guys, uh, Jamie News uh, on YouTube, Jamie's Facebook page, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. So, uh, ang tabayanan ninyo. Simula pa lang ito na marami pang kwentuhan at mas mahaba. Siguro, lalaglag ako ng iyalalagdag <laughs> itong uh, dalawang ito. Dahil, yun eh, ganun talaga pag... Uh, wala eh. Ganun talaga pag podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm Coach Shaper Martin and Tonyo. Okay. Dagdagin natin yung YouTube channel yeah, as well yeah. of uh, JMA Sports and on JMA News. But don't forget to catch... Coverage at the conclusion of this match between San Sebastian and Arellano. It is once again Arellano University emerging victorious and ending this one in five sets. We needed an extension to decide this one. Martin Avier with Melissa Gohing Nasino here in our coverage. And again, very exciting offering for a Sunday uh, doubleheader para sa mga kapuso natin at mga NCAA fans natin. Oh, especially na Ito ba yung second game? Magiging five-setter game din ba? <laughs> Oo nga eh. Pwede rin, ano? Kasi dalawang undefeated teams mamaya-maya maglalaban Latran versus Benil. But before we go there, let us first check out some of the highlights of this roller coaster match. Grabe yung emosyon natin. It was an up and down game. Naghabulan yung magkabilang panig natin. Set number one to. Ito siguro yung pinaka sure tayo sa decision because Arellano won that convincingly. Yes, na nawala ng panapos yung San Sebastian that time. Pero yung susunod na set naman, nakabawi sila. But for, for this set, you're gonna give it to Arellano. They're very consistent defense-wise, floor defense, net defense, and their offense. Sobrang organized din ang depensa nila. Kaya ang dami nilang set plays this set. So medyo nahirapan sa depensa yung lady stacks during the first set. That's right. We thought it was going to be a breeze. From that point, para dito sa Arellano University, again, they flipped in different departments. Si Donna Paralejas. Kita yes. Mo, pangalawang one-two play niya yan sa set one. Sobrang offensive center talaga siya. And maaasahan siya even din sa service line. So talagang uh, all-around setter leading Arellano to that set number one win. It was a different story though in set number two. Although, Yung start natin, medyo pareho dahil Arellano muna yung nag-dominate. Yes. You know, they have the momentum, pero yun nga lang pagpasok ni Tina Marasigan. Yeah, Nag-iba na. nag yung story, ah. Yeah. Um, grabe, she provided points. Dere-derecho yun, I think. Three points straight. Yeah. And then, ang grabe, she really cuts the momentum. Every time nakukuha ng, nakukuha ng Lady Chiefs ang mga puntos. That's right. Tina Marasigan, Again, helped San Sebastian to come back from six yes. points down in maybe a couple of times in that uh, particular set. Forced an extension and we end the 28-26. A very exciting second set. And that's when it began for uh, San Sebastian. Nakuha na nila yung swag nila, yung kumpiyansa nila sa ating laban. Yes, and during the third set, iba na yung vibe nila, yung start nila. Na Ta nakataas na yung noon nila yeah. and even sa Lady Chiefs naman medyo na down sila parang nagulat sila na you know ay ba yung ginagalong ngayon ng Lady Stag so they, they look quite surprised sa game na ito that's right San Sebastian again much different team in set number 2 and in set number 3 Tina Marasigan 
KJ Jonisho who also scored yes. in double figures. That's a lot for a middle blocker, Mel. Yes, ang ganda din ng blocking niya. Yeah. And then, dahil maganda yung depensa, that set ng Lady Stag, ang dami nilang combination plays na. Kaya nabasag din yung blocking ng Lady Chiefs. Again, yung blocking na yan ng Arellano was a, you know, factor in set number one because they really shut the door on the wing spikers, yes. the outside hitters na itong San Sebastian. And you see the celebration, panalo ulit ang Lady Stags doon sa set number three in set four though. This was a, an, an exciting finish that we saw. Set number four. Okay. It was actually Arellano who had the better start. Pero humabul agad ang San Sebastian. Towards the end, Baste had chances to yes. win. Okay. Yun nga sabi, laro, laro ito ng, ng puso eh. If nung second set ni Magic Buno, ta si Tina yeah. Marasigan, yung fourth set naman, when Hart entered the court, you know, she changed the story. And we all know that. Up until the fifth set, ang ganda ng, ang ganda ng ginawa ni Coach Obet. Iba yung trust ni Coach Ebet, Obet sa rookie na ito. That's right. Binigyan niya ng puso yes. na itong laro ng Arellano Lady Chiefs. That's why they were able to keep up with San Sebastian and force a fifth set. At pagdating po natin sa set number five, the momentum that the Lady Chiefs were able to create carried over dito sa set number 5. Yes, sa set 5, pupukan talaga, palitan ng point. It's just that medyo sa huli, nakuha na talaga, nakompleto na yung Arellano University Lady Chiefs sa depensa nila. Ang ganda. They, bumalik yung coverage nila, yeah. yung nawala nung set 2 and set 3. And tuloy-tuloy na yon up until the end. And lahat ng players talaga nag-provide for the Lady Chiefs. Si Hart, yeah. Si the, especially the Guzman, Pauline, everywhere. Anini Pistambola, down the line, cross court, lahat na. Um, she was providing points for the team. That's right. And uh, Arellano University, we were mentioning earlier that they needed that win. Dahil pangatlo po nila yan dito sa season 99. And they didn't want to go down two and three because that's a point. Kasi may marami pa silang game pagkatapos nun. Mahirap ka nang makabalik niyan at makasama doon sa Final Four picture. And you know what, Martin? Naalala ko yung sinabi ni Coach Obete eh, na yung yung lacking na lang medyo sa condition. Sa oh. kailangan pa nila magpa-condition. Lalo na ngayon na umabot sa fifth set. So ito na. Yeah. This fifth set uh, proved na okay yung condition ng mga girls. Final numbers natin dito. Lady Stags leading it in terms of attacks. But... For me, blocking, of course, it belonged to Arellano University. Ang daming error na itong uh, yes. San Sebastian Lady Yun talaga, stats. kasi error, easy points yan eh, sa other side. Uh, kailangan mo talaga maging consistent kahit na, you know, ang galing mo sa, sa spiking, sa blocking, sa defense. Yun nga yung mga unforced errors, yung mga tinginan, yung mga ganon, yung mga checkout balls na easy naman, yeah. hindi kinukuha. So yun yung mga importante, the simple things in volleyball. That's right. Nakita natin yung mga unforced errors na yun, service errors. Doon pa sa set number so, five. Na, oh. na, I mean, it happened towards the end yeah. of the set. Na sobrang importante yun. Na talagang masakit sa puso para dito sa San Sebastian. Again, good effort from them. But ultimately, it was Arellano who took it in 5 nil. Great job dito sa ating coverage. Uh, final thoughts dito sa laban natin. No, I'm just so happy to cover a five-setter game. It's my first time to cover a five-setter game. And very exciting din sa next game. Ito Oy. na yung inaabangan ng lahat. That's These right. These two teams, wala pang talo ito. And Both, itong yeah. game na to, it's gonna change the story. It's gonna change the rankings That's of right. the team. So, ito din yung Letran. They have a new system. And what really... You know, stick to me. Yung sinabi ni Coach na if you want to change your story, you need to change your culture. Okay. So yun yung change ni Coach. Ano? And alam naman natin sa mga previous teams ni Coach Oliver, de ba? She he came from strong teams. And now sa Letran de naman. Uh, sa Benilde. Yeah. Sa Benilde your na, former coach. Yes, my former coach. And meron silang goal. And up until now, solid yung team. At natagdagan pa ng former MVP na si Mike Go. Yeah. So okay. grabe. Okay, that's uh, coming up next, 4-0, Letran and Benilde, both undefeated. Again, in a collision course dito sa Season 99, magaharap sa ating susunod na laban. Mel, thank you so much. All right, on behalf of the entire broadcast, my partner, Melissa Gohing Nasino, 
our courtside reporter Eliana Falsino this is Martin Avera saying thank you and see you guys in the next game with Antonio Rojas and Martin Antonio.